right, guys, let's get into it. I'm a little bit late, but I had things to do today. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with round three. I was going to check in with a few families in Arbor Falls, but I did it offline. Just checked in with some of them to see how they're. Somebody had a, a baby. That's, uh, but it was no one I really care about. I don't even remember which family. Uh, <laughs> that's how little I care about them. Uh, anyway, so I actually care a lot about the families in Garden Heights, which is my main hood. It's also where Bust and Show happened. So Alice Witt is the main character in this hood. We're going to do Alice's best friend, Amaya Flores. Her husband is a new addition to the hood. That uh, He was created by the hood building group. His name is Henry Flores. He had a... Irish wolfhound, I think. Yeah, he, he had an Irish wolfhound. So what we did was, his wolfhound was named Simon. We went to the store and got a, a female. And he, they've already had two puppies. They've been adopted out. Amaya's dog was a small little dog named Roscoe. Um, a, a little Parson Russell Terrier, or Jack Russell. A lot of people forget that Jack Russells were re officially renamed a while back <laughs> for, for two reasons. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. So yeah, they have a full house. They have two large dogs, two small dogs. The dogs are not going to have any more puppies. Uh, Simon has already aged up, so he can't have puppies anyway. It's really strange that the uh, uh, like the elder male cats and elder male dogs cannot have puppies. Just strange, because elder men can. They also can't get jobs, so that's why if they get a chance card in their jobs once they're elders, they I will skip the chance card because they can't get another job if they get fired. Which I, again, don't understand. I don't think there's a mod out there because I don't think anybody cares enough to make a mod like that. I don't even know. Maybe it's impossible. Okay, so I actually put quite a bit of effort into this. Hi, Stranger Than Sim Fiction. How are you? I just started. Oh, thanks for the lurk. Okay, so I put in quite a bit of effort into this, like making it, uh, redo redoing the house. Of course, there's a basement, as usual. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Bobo Brains house if there wasn't a basement. I don't put basements in all of them, but most of them. <laughs> okay, so there's their garage. There is their little dog run area. I put a fence all around, as you can see. Uh, they do have this little pool back here. I didn't do much with the pool. They do have a little laundry area down here. As you can see, whenever you go into a family in story progression, there some, some of them are like this. <laughs> That's, so this is actually normal. All right. So it should be, let's see, hold on. It should be Tuesday. It should be Tuesday and it should be the start of winter or should it be the start of fall? Yeah, it should be this. No, I think we already did fall. Because this is round three. I think it should be the start of winter, but it should be Tuesday. So we're going to get our little cheat object and fix that. If I don't know if I still have the little cheat object out. It's, it's the new one by Sim Nopke. This little thing. This little, this little weird creature. I can't, I'm trying to find a place to put it. There it is, this little thing. It's usually quite huge. It's the Tiki Idol, and it's usually very large. Oh, it's see, it's already on the fireplace. Look at that. I need to find a place uh, that's a little less conspicuous than the fireplace. You know, because it's not very attractive. It's not my favorite objet d'art. <laughs> I'm great. I raced in here all the... <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> I was late today. Uh, I had a grocery delivery and I just sort everything and blah, blah, blah. You know, real life stuff. I hate real life stuff. <laughs> I'm just, I've, I'm so done with real life stuff at this point. Anyway, 
Um, all right, hold on. I gotta get sorted here. Okay, we might as well get rid of this baby stuff. Okay, so the thing about Amaya Flores is before she hooked up with Henry Beniz, again, Henry Beniz is a new character in Garden Heights. He did not exist in the original storyline. Uh, she got ill and impregnated. She literally walked over to the telescope and immediately got abducted and alien impregnated. She was the first person in this entire Uberhood to get pregnant. So Shrek Flores is the eldest child in this Uberhood. Now, the reason why he's called Shrek is because a bunch of my followers uh, basically used their channel points to give me a bunch of baby names. And Shrek was... Um, uh, given to me by Toxic Tia. So if you know who Toxic Tia is, you know <laughs> you know who that is. Uh, she also streams Sims 2. Anyway, that was her contribution with Shrek. So the first baby is named Shrek, and he is an alien baby. Of course, my aliens, as you know, are not green. I got a new alien uh, default replacement. Two males and two females. Uh, I think that his mother is Kara. So all the aliens have names. Yeah, her 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 name is Kara. So she's actually parented four children, I believe. So if you click on her, and, and she also shows up in family trees. So the thing about this multi-PT mod is that all the aliens show up in the trees. So yeah, she parented Shrek. And then Marcel Ware. And... Zytrario Gilbert. I did not name these children, by the way. Story Progression named them, which I think are awesome. Again, I've only had to rename two of the children from Story Progression. I kept the rest of the names for posterity sake. So Marcel was, again, Story Progression. Zytrario, I don't know where that name comes from, but that, that name was actually given by Story Progression. So if you guys know where Z Zytrario comes from, like what the, um, I'm going to assume it's Italy or that neck of the woods. It kind of sounds Italian a little bit. Um, and then there's Anthony Martin. So yeah, all these names, except for Shrek. Shrek's name was changed because again, um, a bunch of people gave me some baby names. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's Kara. So, and of course, Half siblings with Harry Beniz, who is the, their uh, their their human child that they had afterwards after they they hooked up and got married. So anyway, uh, I absolutely love my new alien default replacement. It's uh, it's different. They look a lot. They're so beautiful. Like they're so gorgeous compared to the Maxis. Uh, pollination, pollination technician. That's a bit of a mouthful. I have a hard time saying pollination technician. <laughs> anyway, her favorite color is orange. So that's why she's dressed in orange. What is his favorite color? Let's just go ahead and get ourselves reacquainted with these guys after I fix the day. So it should be Tuesday. It should be six o'clock in the morning. And I can't do 6 o'clock. I can only do 6.01. <laughs> so it's going to be 6.01. And it should be the start of winter, but it's already the third day of winter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do days until the season ends. Days until the season ends. I'm just going to make it winter. I think it's supposed to switch seasons at 7 o'clock in the morning or something like that. So I'm having trouble with the four-day season mod. I think it's buggy. I think I have to delete it and re-download it. Because it, it worked perfectly for a long time. But now it... it changes seasons a day before my rotations up so i'm not sure what's going on there i think it might be i think this object i might have inadvertently screwed that one up with this object because this is a new cheat object by simnopti fair well it's fairly new he did it like this year i believe 
Um, so I think I might have inadvertently did something to that four-day season mod. So I think I'm just going to get rid of it and put, put it back in the folder and hopefully it'll start working again. And there is Simon. As you can see, he's a senior dog now. He's very handsome. Irish wolfhounds are very large in real life. Like, they're much larger than that. <laughs> they're huge. <laughs> So we're going to pretend that this is uh, this is the size they are. <laughs> All right, so we did that. And I just have to remember to set, like, around 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to set it to to the first day of winter. So anyway, let's get to, let's get to uh, know all these guys again because it's been a while. This is round three that we're starting. Okay, so wait a second. Hold up. So there's Henry. He, again, he is a new character. He's very handsome. Very handsome man. Uh, yeah, he, they fell he head over heels in love. I think he was walking past the house or something like that. Uh, and I had to go out and talk to him. Anyway, um, he was actually the first sim that I set up. He was the first one that you're supposed to play if you if you go by the play order in the uh, the story the story hood. You know how in the main hood you've got that story hood photo album. He was the first one. All right, so let's check out what his what his uh his eight traits are. Now the three to two traits are supposed to be five traits as an adult, but I but I maxed it out to eight traits as an adult because it's just more drama. <laughs> uh, okay, so he's charismatic, he's brave, he's good. Uh, he's animal animal lover, duh. Hopeless romantic, eccentric, uh, star quality. And excitable. He likes turquoise. This is sort. It's supposed to be a turquoisey jacket. It's actually blue, but <laughs> there's not a lot of tur turquoisey or teal outfits in with the Melvern default replacements. I'm actually gonna get rid of some of the Me default replacements and, and go go to some Michelle recolors. Of, of some of the base game outfits because Michelle did and D Harden did a bunch of recolors of some of the base game outfits that actually go with the color trait mods. Uh, they didn't mean they didn't mean for it to go with the color trait mod system. They actually did it before it was invented by EpiSims. So what Michelle did was she recolored a bunch of stuff with the lac recolors from IKEA, and they just happened to work well with the color trait system. And, and she did it with some of the base game outfits, some of the classic base game outfits. So I'm going to go back to that because a lot of I, most of my default outfits are replacements are by Melvern Sims and uh, Silly Soraya with there's a few other exceptions. Some of the Melvern Sims outfits I am not happy with, so I am going to remove them. And 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 some of them I like, but I prefer to go back to the Michelle D. Harden recolors of those uh, using the lac colors, just so I have a uh, more of a more selection in terms of of the color trait system. Anyway, doesn't like pink, likes turquoise. Uh, he likes new wave. I could change that. There is a music mod that Fway came up with. Uh, that he just came up with before he took uh, a sabbatical. He's taking uh, an extended sabbatical um, with a new job. So he might come back. Well, I know he's going to come back when he's ready. But uh, So he might add to his new music trait mod. I think as it stands right now, there's only one... Uh, there's only one mod that goes with it. it there's like a special... Um, boombox that you can download and if they listen to their favorite music it like helps their mood a lot faster if they're listening to their favorite music i think that's how it, it works i'll have to read the directions again but it sounds pretty cool to me so that's another thing i have to download <laughs> all right so that's him he is a surveillance operator level four and he wants to become head of scia so there's only one person in this entire Uberhood who could be the head of SCIA. There's a couple of job titles that can only have one, like mayor, secretary of education, head uh, CEO of the hospital, things like that, um, city planner. But there's other occupations you can have more than one, like rock star, ballet dancer, icon, things like that. So 
that's kind of like the rule that I have. So there is one other person that does want to be head of SCIA, but until he retires, because he has first dibs on it, because he was the first person to get it. So until he retires, the other person won't be able to get it, but he's not even there yet. So it's, that's like a, a non-issue. Don't forget, I use the 16 days equals one year mod. So he still has like 519 days before he becomes an elder. <laughs> so <laughs> anywho, let's go over to Amaya. She's a science teacher. I decided that she's going to just stay a science teacher because we need at least one science teacher in our uberhood. So she just, that's what she's going to be. She's never going to be more than a science teacher. I do that with a lot of people. Like I have two people who are going to be nurses, like for the rest of their lives, because we need a couple of nurses in this hood. We need, we need a couple of doctors, a couple of nurses at least one science teacher, so on and so forth. So yeah, not everybody gets to, to go to the top of the career. All right, what does she want to do? She wants to complete an insect collection, okay. Uh, let's check out what her, okay. So she is a great kisser. She loves the outdoors. She's an animal lover, family oriented, bookworm, flirty, star quality, loves the heat. She loves orange, hates red. So wait a second, he likes turquoise and hates what now? Pink. And she likes orange and hates red. So pink and red are the no-no. Every, every now and then you get a couple that have a contradicting colors. So we sort of have to have compromises where one room is in is in there. You know what I'm saying? They, they can't all have their favorite color in every room, obviously. So the bedroom is usually neutral in that situation <laughs> when they have conflicts. And then like one of them gets to have their color of, in the kitchen and the other one gets the living room, like that kind of thing. Not that it really matters because like, that's just, it's just part of sto storytelling. It's just my imagination. <laughs> I know real life sucks for sure. It's Blue Blossom. How do you enter the map on Sims 2? I just got the game and don't, the map? Oh, you mean the main hood? You mean the main hood, right? You just go, you just go here, options, and you go into neighborhood. And of course, I'm going to save it. I'll go into the hood just to show you. So, did you get the OSAB version from GitHub that has all of the fixes with it? Because that's really the best version of The Sims 2. Okay, so that's that's the uh, the hood, the main hood. Woo! As you can see, I've got the the neighborhood fix, or the the you know the neighborhood system that Loitus created. And by the way, uh, hi, <laughs> welcome in. Hi, Nevertis. <laughs> Thank you for showing me. I got it from the oh the Apple Store. Interesting. Oh, I didn't know you could get it from the Apple Store. Really? So you have the super collection. Okay, so I think the super collection is missing one of the expansion packs, if I recall. So, yeah. Just be careful because it's not all, yeah, it doesn't have all the expansions. It's only for MacBooks. It's missing anything later than free time. Oh, so you don't have apartment life. Interesting. So, yeah, no apartment life. That's okay. You can sort of create your own apartments. Um which is pro it's probably, people were creating their own apartments before Apartment Life came out. It's just the only thing is um, you have to share the lot with, you, you would need to download bigger families if you can get that in the Macintosh. If you can get that mod in the Macintosh uh, version, you're going to have to get bigger families if you're going to create your own apartments. And also people you can't lock people out of other people's apartments so if the, aside from that you can just create your own and just pretend <laughs> all right hold on yeah the biggest problem is that a, a lot of mods cc need al that yeah, that's another problem you might want to think about partitioning your macbook uh partition it and put windows 11 on it or windows 10 if you can get a a sale copy of it I think there are some stores that still sell uh, a Windows 10. Like uh, usually it's discounted because they've switched to Windows 11. 
I actually have a friend that has a Mac and he partitioned his Mac. So half of it is a window and that's how he got Ultimate Collection on there. That way he could use all the mods. I guess he wanted to use all the mods. A lot of the mods aren't available in the Mac version. So anyway. Uh, all right, let's get back into it. There's a, that's a, this is a Maya Flores' original house. Henry Benitez's house, his original house was way too small. So when they got together as a couple, I had him move out of his house into this one. So I don't, where's Shrek? Oh, there he is right there. All right, so let's get back into it. Again, we've got a very large basement that we can fiddle around with today. Because I'm slowly working on the houses. I don't like redoing the houses all at once. I like to, especially in a situation like this, I like to do it slowly. So yeah, I don't know. If, but I want you guys to give me some ideas about what to do with the basement. Should we put some of the kids' rooms down here? Like, we could literally put the kids' rooms down here if you want. Um, the kids' rooms right now are right here. These These rooms are pretty big, though. But they do have uh, two kids. I don't know if she's pregnant. Let's just see if she's pregnant, you guys. Let's just cheat and see. Uh... Nope, she's not pregnant. Okay. So anyway, these guys are kind of like, sort of like twins in a way. Because she was pregnant with the alien baby. And then she, um, after that, they had the baby like this baby right away. So they're not twins. They're not really, I well, I guess they're Irish twins in a way. So I actually have several families that have like one alien and one human child that are, were born very close together. So they're kind of, I have a bunch of Irish twins, so to speak. <laughs> oh gosh. Hi, Abby. Hi, Marcus. I play on a partition Mac mini and then I put the documents folder and Sims 2 game on an external SSD. Oh, interesting. Runs like a dream. Yeah, that's what. Hi, Ed Charlotte. Waves to all. <laughs> I would highly recommend if you have a Macintosh to partition it. Every single person I know that has a, a Mac that wants to play this partitions it. So it works fine with Windows 10. I personally find that the game works better with Windows 11. When I upgraded to Windows 11, I wasn't sure how this game was going to react because it is such an old game. Um, so yeah, but it, I find it crashes less with Windows 11. Windows 10 is inherently buggy. Uh, when Windows 10 came out, I was so pissed. There were so many things that I hated about it. Um, yeah, don't get me started on Windows 10. Anyway, they got, <laughs> they fixed a lot of the problems. I don't know why, why Microsoft does the things that they do. It's like they make these changes to the operating system without asking us what we want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, it's dark right now because it's 6.01 a.m. So eventually, so yeah, we put a lot of work into this house. I remember when we redid the kitchen. Uh, we put in some cupboards. I still don't have any dishes to put into these these uh, these uh, cupboards on top. I need to download some some stuff, some decor for that. But there are slots. You see these shelves? There, these are these have slots, and you can actually use slot blockers to place things where you want them to be. So it's, it can be a little tricky. Anyway, I might move this. I might move that a little over. So anyway, uh, yeah, so we did quite a bit of work. So that's that's Roscoe. So that's a Maya's original dog. And then we purchased Larkin from the store. Another Parson Russell, a.k.a. Jack Russell. Their official name is actually Parson Russell Terrier, but everybody still calls them by their old name, Jack Russell Terrier. So Jack Russells have a variety of different spots. They can be light, light brown, or dark brown. So they actually had two puppies. So let's just look at the puppies right here. Uh, there's Roscoe. So I am actively uh, doing pet, like pet trees. Like I'm going out of my way to actually breed the cats and the dogs that originally came with the, the stories, the pet stories and the life stories. So as you can see, Larkin and Roscoe have had two puppies. They had Pinky Flores. <laughs> That's Pinky. And 
Major Flores. Major Flores is still a puppy. But Pinky, let me just see who owns Pinky. I have a list of all the pet families. So Pinky is living with Greg Chomsky. Now, Greg Chomsky lives in Bitville, which is a uh, Vincent story. So if you've ever played Vincent story from the live stories, that's where he's living now. Um, and Major Flores is living with the Rome family. And I think that they are from Arbor Falls. Arbor Falls is, I where's it? Four Corners. I don't remember. I don't know. Anyway, uh, they're a very minor family. They don't play a major role in any of the storylines. So anyway, that's, so he's still a puppy. But we're going to be, all, all the puppies that have been adopted out and all the kittens eventually will also be um, breed, like bred to have at least one offspring. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually create lineages for all the pets, which I've never done in a, in an, in an uber hood before or any kind of hood actually all right so there's the staircase um we haven't done anything with that room so as you can see when i first i did when when i start doing renovations on a house i just i start with the very basic stuff and very slowly sort of make it individual like i didn't do much with their master bedroom uh, the bathroom's kind of yucky. These, this is all old stuff. I'll probably replace all that. So the thing about the food bowls, uh, the food bowls sometimes stop working. Uh, and it doesn't matter which food bowl that you use. It, cause there's three different types of food bowls. There's the cheap one, the medium price one, and the expensive one. It doesn't matter which one you use. Sometimes they stop working. So you have to have more than one bowl just in case one of them stops working because I actually had a dog almost starve to death because everybody was at work or school and the food bowl stopped working and they couldn't eat from it, even though there was still food in it. So I actually had to cheat a little bit to keep the dog from dying. <laughs> so just keep that in mind, you guys. You should have at least two or three, especially if you have more than one dog. I think that they're, hold on, I should probably get rid of this because she might get ailing and pregnant again. <laughs> All right, so here's the dog run. I don't think I have a bowl out here. I should probably have an additional dog bowl out here in the dog run or some, or maybe something downstairs because with four dogs, that's the food goes down very quickly in that situation. Anyway, let's go ahead and play the game. All right, it's Tuesday. He works, oh, he doesn't work today. She works at 8 a.m. So yeah, it, the carpool will be here in about an hour. Oop, oop, did you see that? Okay, you see what's happening here? One of the, okay, you see what's happening? They're in a constant loop because one's trying to go down and the other one's, okay, so in that case, we're just gonna do the teleport here function. We're just going to have her teleport down here. Because they're just going to sit there. You see what they're doing? They're just constantly stopping their feet. All right. So you go ahead and go upstairs. There you go. <laughs> That's why I have the teleport anywhere mod. Uh, it, when you especially, it's especially handy in parties when there's a lot, of, when there's a lot of people it, like in a bottleneck situation. Oftentimes when you have a party, they'll congregate in a bathroom or something. <laughs> <laughs> or they'll congregate on the porch and the pizza delivery can't arrive to the front porch. And then you just use the tel teleport function to clear everybody out. Anyway, I don't know what to do with the downstairs. I think I made the downstairs a little too large. I think I might actually section off the downstairs to make it smaller. Uh, the thing about the basements is that I don't always use the entire basement. I could also make like a exercise room uh an exercise room and an arts and crafts room maybe uh that's sometimes what i do with basements but in terms of making it into a rec room with a billiards table and a poker table and all that it's a little bit too large so hold on let me just fix this floor so yeah i don't know what to do let me just get caught up here it's already 9 p.m here in europe Downstairs could have a craft room, model train, gym, pool table, or junk room, or home bar, or guest room, or disco. 
Oh, that's a good question. What are their hobbies? I forgot to check that. It's been a while since I played this family. He's a Leo. The thing about um, The Sims 2 is that their Zodiac system is very specific. So the, the Leos technically can only be music and dance. Obviously, you can do whatever you want in your game. You don't have to follow the... Uh, the um, oh, what's it called? What's the name of those books? The, the, the official ga the game guides. Anyway, that's what it says in the official game guides. I do have a cheat sheet that you can download and print off. I guess a disco or like a ballet room of sorts would make sense. Or a bunker in case of an apocalypse. Well, I would, I'm thinking more of an apocalypse because I play post-apocalypse games. I love I love Fallout and Seven Days to Die. Anything that's post-apocalyptic and I sign me up. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I like that genre. I just do. Anywho. Uh, okay, so. He's music and dance. So we could do a music room. We already have a guitar there. Uh, we could also do a ballet room. What is she? She's nature. Hmm. But we don't know what the kids are. What are the kids? Okay, so it looks like he is going to be science. And I don't know what the baby is. We have to wait for the baby. Uh, yeah, so science, music and dance, and nature. So we can do whatever we want. We could also put some bedrooms down here and then... We could repurpose the bedrooms upstairs into something else. Like we, we could make one into a den for Henry because Henry wants to be uh, in charge of the SCIA. So maybe he should have like a little office den up here. And like this room could be a study room, maybe like a quiet little study room. And then we could we could throw the kids downstairs. We also don't know. She might actually get pregnant again with another kid. But let's just see what kind what, what we're what we're dealing with here. Oh, see, they would have a huge bedroom down here. And then they could share like a bathroom here. And they would still have enough room for a billiards table or a poker table. We could even still have like a craft room if we wanted to. We also have a garage over here, but I'll probably just put a second car in there because they should each have their own car. Not all my Sim families have two cars. Some of them just have the, the one car. So anyway, yeah, let's put, let's put two bedrooms down here and we'll repurpose these rooms. One of these will be his, um, his office. He really should have an office, I feel. And this room could be the spare bedroom in case they have a girl. Or we could stick two boys in one room and put the girl in there if they do have a girl. Anyway, as you can see, I wasn't finished uh, redoing the entire uh, the entire house. Like I said, I like to do a little bit at a time. Are these guys gonna woohoo? I can't tell. No, she's gonna go play with uh, Larka, Larkin. Oh, don't do it again! No, no, they keep doing that. Okay, you know what? You guys are pissing me off. Over here. No. There we go. There we go. I don't know why they keep doing that. Aw, they're playing with each other. Isn't that cute? So adorable. Anyway. Uh, so she's working today. So I don't know if they're going to do, yeah, the carpool is going to be here any second. So I'm just going to have her go outside and wait for her carpool. Oh, wait, I don't even know if she has a carpool. She wants to be a vampire. I turned one person into a vampire. I turned Dylan Kincaid into a vampire. And all of a sudden, everybody else wants to be a vampire. Nobody was um, rolling the wad to be a vampire until I did that. So I think word got out in the sim community <laughs> in the uberhood that we have a vampire now. And the other thing is, is that Dylan Kincaid rolled the LTW to turn uh, not only be a vampire, but to turn five other sims into a vampire. So there's already at least one person that really, really wants to be a vampire. So we're going to turn them into a vampire as well. But uh, until until somebody rolls the wand like several times in a row, I'm not going to make them a vampire. So if this is just a one-off, we'll just ignore it. 
But tomorrow, if she rolls the same thing, I'll lock it in and I'll make a little note of it. Usually only, uh, well, she is a knowledge sim. Let's see, she's a knowledge pleasure sim. So she actually has the ability to summon aliens, which is probably why she got impregnated in the first place. And he is a fortune romance. Oh, we're going to put some of his points there. And... That one. Okay. All right. So her her thing's gonna be here any second. Okay. So Crumpelina works. Where does Crumpelina work? I always make my pets go to work because I don't like pets just being around the house all fucking day. It drives me crazy. Um, because they just repeat the same animations over and over again. So I usually get jobs for everybody. I don't know if Larkin has a job. Oh, she does. Okay, I must have given her a job in, in the last rotation. So she's a vermin chaser. Uh, Crumpelina is an extra. She's in the um, showbiz. Roscoe. Oh, Roscoe was supposed to, is supposed to be at work, you guys. Does he work today? He does work today. Oh, she's going. She drives to work. Okay, never mind. So this must be Roscoe's uh, carpool. There he is coming out. And Simon, of course, is a level two showbiz. He's an understudy. So like I said, uh, senior or elder dogs and cats cannot get jobs, nor can they father pets. So if if he gets a, a chance card, I will just cancel it out because he can't get another job if he gets fired. All right. Oh, looks like... Um, Shrek got out of the crib himself. So that's my little alien child. My first one. He's the first one. Is, aren't my aliens good looking? They're gorgeous. They have like really pale skin. And of course they have the alien eyes. But they're very... I don't know. They're just very beautiful compared to the Maxian alien. Which I absolutely can't stand. I just... I played with the, the Maxis aliens for the first 18 years. <laughs> and I'm just sick of it. And now that I know how to download and play with the multi-PT mods, I just, I feel like I need a change of pace, you know? <laughs> I also have a multi-PS mod, which is a multi-plant sim mod. So I actually, if somebody creates a plant sim, there's actually two males and two females now that they can create a plant sim with. So when, when somebody creates a plant sim, you're not sure which plant sim they're going to make a, like a, make a baby with. So there's like four different skin. There's one for each skin tone. So there's two females and two males. The, the two females are skin tone one and two. And the two males are skin tone three and four. So Otis Fielding, um, who is a skin tone four, uh, created a plant sim baby who ended up being having light skin. Because I'm going to assume that he used one of the, the females. So anyway, she doesn't. She, she's adorable. <laughs> so, anywho, I do have a couple of plants themselves. I also have a fairy. I, I actually have a fairy. So, what happened with the fairy is that if you download the Midge the Tree fairy mods, um, you can, there's a chance you can become a fairy if you go on a hike. And he went on a hike with his stepmother, and he's a teenager. And he went on a hike with her, and he became a fairy when he came back. So that's my first fairy in the game. Anyway. Um, so she's at work. He doesn't work today. Alright, so what are we going to do? Is he already potty trained? I think he's already learned everything. I think we already did that the last... Yeah, he's already learned everything. Tanya was born... Okay, so Britannia also, these two, so these two dogs had Pinky and Major, and Simon had two with Crumpelina. So the first one was Simonella, and the second was Britannia, who's still a puppy, as you can see. So they had two puppies as well. So I want all the animals to have at least one pet. I have, um, a mod that keeps the litters down to like very small 
Uh, you you can get it on MTS. So the litters are normally quite large. So the litters now are one or two per litter. So the most that I'm ever going to have in a litter is two. So I, I like to keep it that way to keep my pet population in check. Aww. Sim doesn't use the toilet until they have bladder failure. <laughs> do you want me to do that with Simon, with um, Henry? I could do that with Henry. His, he's got like a, a, an empty bladder right now, so it's going to take a while for him to get down there. He does have to eat, though. Uh, and he also has to drink some coffee because he's a little tired. So I'm going to have him drink some coffee, which will help bring his bladder down a little bit. <laughs> I'm also going to have him eat some breakfast. Healthy food. We're going to have some oatmeal and porridge with blueberries. All right. So he's already learned his stuff. I don't know if he's learned a nursery rhyme. It looks like he's already learned his nursery rhyme. So he's just going to basically chill out and work on his... Oh, by the way, guys, we still have some coupons available. So as you guys know, I can, I'm can i allowed to give out 10 free gift packs every week with Stream Loots. So the, the new packs come out on Monday, and I believe we still have some available. So go if you didn't get your uh, gift pack on Monday, go ahead and grab it now. And if you if you can't get any, it means that they've all they're all gone. You're gonna have to wait till next Monday. All right. Oh, is she going to work? She is. By the way, these default these default road replace, replacements are by Lord Crumps, which he did a phenomenal job with. I think I'm gonna put a fruit tree here in the front yard. I put one over here. And this one actually needs, uh, well, it's actually winter time right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it to the first day of winter. There we go. Now, technically, just a sec, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday morning, it should still be winter. If it's not, it's because I know there's something wrong with the four-day season mod, and I'm going to just have to take it out and re-download it. All right, so... We're going to repurpose these rooms upstairs. We're going to get, first of all, we need to get rid of these windows. And we've already gotten rid of some of the windows, but not all of them. So we're going to replace these with Honeywell windows that are very similar. The reason why I like to do that, because the Honeywell windows can be one color on this side and another color on the outside. So it, it, it gives you more wiggle room when it comes to interior design. So let's try to replicate this window. I try to keep the same the same vibe when I'm redoing when I'm remodeling a house. I, I out of respect for the original creator, I like to um, try to maintain the same look as much as humanly possible. <laughs> Some of the houses are pretty bad. Um, it's like that with all, all custom hoods. Some of the houses are great, and some of them, eh. Um, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the the bespoke build set. So the bespoke build set, as you know, is by Honeywell, who did an amazing job. And she still does stuff, like she still creates stuff. So, all right, so we're gonna do like a tall window with shutters. It doesn't have to be tall like this. Oop. We can also put our own shutters on here because she, g she gave us like our own shutters here. So we could do that as well. So we technically could do our own. Those are all, oh, hold on. What about this? Can we do this one? Sometimes it's very difficult to get the windows to, sometimes you have to approach it from this side.
And sometimes it doesn't work because there's no squares. So if there's no squares down here in front, you guys have seen me, what I have to do. If you can't place a window on the proper way out, because this is inside out, it's probably because there's no, there's no, I'm going to temporarily move this over. It's usually because you can't put anything here. So it looks like this is the case with this, with this house. That I'm going to have to temporarily put foundation here in order. Oh, see, it's not going to let me do it. Bastard. Bastard! Is it because it's a sloped ground? It's not a sloped ground, is it? You see what's happening here? All right, you guys have seen me struggle with this before in the past, so hold on. This is part of the this is part of the wonderful joy of the Sims too. Um, yeah, there's no white squares in front of this. So what I'm going to do is. I don't know if this if this falling leaf is keeping me from, from putting anything here. Let's try to put some foundation over here. Nope. For some reason, is it because it's too close to is it too close to the sidewalk? I don't think so. Can I put one here? How about here? How about there? No. <laughs> I'm just gonna see if I could put it anywhere. Can I put it anywhere? Oh, I can put it there. I think it's because it's too close, you guys. I think that's what it is. All right, what's going over in chat? Redeemed hype trade. Thank you, Cupcake. How are you today? Aw, thank you for resubscribing. Ooh, four months. So let me know, you guys, if you can't get any the gift packs. And then I'll know that, that, that we're out. Because like I said, you, I can only give away 10 gift packs per week. So yeah, I don't know if I could put any more foundations. I think it's too close to the road. So the only thing we could do to put the windows in properly, I'm I'm going to assume, is to try. Maybe we could put... Nope, that's not going to work. Sometimes if you put tiles here temporarily, you can put, put them in front of the window. It's possible that I won't be able to get to put new windows here you guys there's a small possibility i will not be able to do that i'm not sure where the cutoff is let's go ahead and get rid of this fence just to see i'm going to see how close get rid of that i could put one there Oh, I can put one here. Okay, never mind. I can put a foundation that close. Okay. Hmm. In interesting predicament I find myself in. All right, so why is it not doing it here? Do I have to do this? I have a feeling... That it has something to do with the basement, but I could be wrong about that. You see how there's a white square in front of it here? If there isn't a white square in front of the foundation, you cannot place a window. And you have to place a temporary foundation. So this happens with a lot of pre-made lots. So if you ever run into this and you can't put um, a window, like put it the way you want to, there's not much you can do about it if you can't place a foundation temporarily. Let's see if this is a level terrain situation. It could, that could be the situation that we're dealing with right now. It could be like a level terrain problem. Nope. Nope. Oh, oh, did you see that? Okay, I was able to do it there. Oop, and I was able to do it there and there. So, okay. 
So I'm able to put foundation some in some of the places. All right, let's see if we can, oh, no, it's not letting me do it. Sometimes if you put a temporary tile here, it, it works and it's just not working. So unfortunately I cannot change the windows. That's, that's basically it. I can't swap out the windows. So I'm gonna have to put all the windows back, which kind of sucks. Oh. Uh oh. You know what? I'm going to have to go back into the neighborhood view and not save. <laughs> because I can't I can't put this the, the right window back. It won't let me undo it anymore. I must have gone into buy mode or live mode or something like that. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back into the neighborhood without saving. I fucking, you know, sometimes this game really tests my patience. <laughs> but this is, we all have to deal, deal with this when we're playing The Sims. Having a big flare day and my shoulder is killing me and as a result of the pain, I'm just, aww. I know what that feels like. Have you tried taking a bath with Epsom salts? If you do, make sure that you soak at least 20 minutes in the Epsom salts because it actually takes that long for it to actually penetrate your muscles. And try to use at least two to three cups or more depending on how many you have and how much pain you're in. But uh, yeah, I used to give myself Epsom salt baths all the time, and it really does work. Just make sure that it's a, you're in there a minimum of 20 minutes, and it doesn't have to be hot water. It can be lukewarm water. It doesn't have to be hot. That's actually a myth. You could even soak in cool water. Just make sure that you dissolve the Epsom salts in hot water first before you put it in there. All right, so we're back at 6 o'clock in the morning. We should have all the windows, the original windows. So unfortunately, we cannot get rid of those. But we actually replaced the other windows on the back. We didn't replace these, though. I'm wondering if we could replace these. Because these are really tall. I'm going to get rid of those. I don't like windows on the side. When I have windows on the front and back, I usually don't put them on the side. Uh, we might keep this one. I'll keep these two. These are definitely Honeywell windows there. So I was obviously able to get rid of those. All right, so we're gonna have to reset everything over again as it's like six o'clock in the morning. Okay, so she's still here. All right, let's just do this again. All right. That kind of sucks that I can't. I Oh, see, we got this again. <laughs> oh, they're trying to do ACR, you guys. Oh, my God. Just come over here, girl. Go over there. Go over there. Oh, my God. She's doing She keeps doing it. Go over there. We go. All right. Come upstairs. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. They wanted to do ACR. So what I'm going to do is they're They were going to do casual ACR. So I'm just going to go ahead and initiate it. Because usually when you go in in story progression, the first thing that a couple will do is they'll do their um their ACR woohoo right away. It happens like 90% of the time. The only time they don't do it is if it gets interrupted, which is what which is what happened right there. It actually got interrupted. Where's the where's the casual thing? There it is. All right, go ahead and do that. All right, let me just get caught up in chat here. I want to redeem cupcake now <laughs> with icing. <laughs> I do have, I think I have move objects on. I'm not sure. 
But even if I did did have move objects on, it it you ha you still have to have that little white square there. But I could maybe I could try again with it off. Okay, I just turned it off. I don't know if that would it's gonna make a difference though. Because like, you see how I don't have the little invisible white squares here? And if I can't, if I can't put a foundation here, let me just go ahead and flatten the lot again. Just in case if that's, that might be the issue, but I tried doing that earlier. So yeah, if I can't put a tile, either a tile I can't, I can't put any windows like there. So I can here. There's like three squares here where I can put a foundation temporarily, but not here. And I need to put it here to replace this window. Yeah, see, I can't replace this window, so I can only put them here. It kind of sucks. It really does, because I would like, but it's, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's just weird. It's just weird things. That, see how the, this is what I'm talking about. There's like three white squares here. <gasps> Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. If I can put a tile on here, I can replace them. Hold on. Let's see if this works. If I can temporarily put a tile here. Nope. Nope. It's not working. It, it's working up here, but not sideways. I wonder if I got rid of that, it would help. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Nope, it's not working. I tried, I tried you guys. Poop. It's just part, it's part of the joy of playing with uh, custom hoods and just Sims houses in general. If there's no white square here in front, I can't, I can't replace them. I wonder, hold on, just a sec, just a sec. I just realized something. No, I don't think that's the issue because there's no bushes here. I thought maybe it was the fence, but the, the there's actually bushes here and I was able to put foundation here and there's no bushes here, so. Yeah, I don't think that's the issue. I can't even put it here. I could just put it right there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. These windows are fine. Oh, are they have? Are they trying for a baby? Shit. Okay, so they only have one window. I might be able to add additional windows in their bedroom. So we're just gonna peek through the. We're gonna peek through the window. <laughs> I don't know why this makes me laugh, but it does. I have I tried putting some Tiger Bomb on, though. I love Tiger Bomb. There's different types of Tiger Bomb, though. There's Red Tiger Bomb, White Tiger Bomb. We have a wash closet. Oh, she's pregnant! Did you hear that? <gasps> she's pregnant! I hope it's a girl! Right on. They only have one, um, one window right now. Anyway, she has to go to work. Yeah, off she goes. Okay, baby number three is coming. It's a good thing we're moving the kids downstairs. <laughs> okay, so he has all day with the kids. All right, so we had to start over again. So we're going to reset the seas at eight o'clock. We're going to reset it to the first day of winter. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it does this. It's just, it's just a buggy thing. It's possible that if I go into the main hood and come back in, that it will be fine. Sometimes going into the hood and coming back in will get rid of some of the bugginess. And sometimes quitting the game and starting over, but I'm not going to do that just for this, just for a couple of windows. I would if the windows were really awful. <laughs> Maybe in the fourth rotation, it'll it'll reset and it will magically work again. I don't know. Uh, he needs to actually have some coffee. 
All right, so he's not allowed to go to the bathroom until, yeah. So I know that he just peed, but um, I think that it, it was like that before the card was played. And it was too late. He was already on the toilet, and I forgot that the card was played. So anyway, from this point forward, he's not going to be able to go to the bathroom until he has an accident. <laughs> so that's the, the joy of playing with Stream Loot's cards. <laughs> Oh my gosh. My bathroom is bigger than my kitchen. I think it's uncommon. I have a washing machine, a bathtub, a shower, and all in there. Aww. Luckily, our kitchen is bigger than our bathroom, but we have a washroom, which is nice. In the bathroom, it's a small one. I am not risking. I use the shower. Oh, I are you talking about the windows? Oh, I experience this all the time with the windows. All right, so Crumpelina just went to work. So we got two dogs at work. And I think, uh, who's this again? Larkin. Larkin works at 6 p.m. Because she's in, I think she's a service dog, level one, which is a vermin chaser. Um, okay, so the carpool is going to show up in about 20 minutes for Simon. All right, so it's actually after 8 o'clock. So let's go ahead and reset the season to the proper season. Winter. There we go. All right, so he's kind of hungry. We'll, get, we'll take care of him, and we're going to have him work on his music and dance, and we're going to, like, redo their house a little bit. Oh, what is that sound I'm hearing? Oh, what's that? Is that, is, is that his, his, uh, Simon's carpool? I think it is, yeah. Well, he's got a pretty swanky carpool. He's, le he's level two, uh, uh, showbiz. There he goes. Right, who's that? Dante Shaw. Oh, and Theta Gilbert. Oh. <laughs> They're a couple, by the way. Uh, she is in Mesa Flats, which is Midnight Masquerade. That's also another pet story. So she's, she's actually a, a roommate of Rachel Ware. She's a new character that the Hood Building Group threw in there. And she, I tried to get her to date, I used the crystal ball to set her up with some of the pre-maids, but she didn't get along with anybody. But she did get along with Dante Shaw, and Dante Shaw is one of the townies that comes from Blue Water Village. So I downloaded him when I downloaded the Plum Tales townie NPC pool that she redid. She basically cleaned up the townies and NPCs in, from Blue Water Village. I don't actually have Blue Water Village in my Uberhood. But I have most of the townies and NPCs that came with that hood. And he's one of them. So you might actually recognize that name. Um, he's very good looking. But anyway, you might recognize his name if you play Blue Water Village a lot. So they do love each other very much. And I think they have a child. I think they have a kid. Let me just check. I'm going to temporarily click on her. See if she's got a kid. Yep. Oh, damn. They have two kids. Oh, she's got an alien child. She had an alien child. Now, who's the mother? Kara. So, actually, Shrek Flores, um, her son, Zytrario, is half-siblings with Shrek over here. Yeah. And then, of course, she had a child with Dante. And story progression gave her the name Lisa. So I actually have not checked in with them, with this family, uh, to to uh, check out Lisa, but she looks adorable. Anyway, let's um, unselect her. I just want to make sure that uh, aging is on. Story progression aging is on. Story progression. Okay, story progression is on for the neighborhood as well, and so, so is the aging. Nothing has been turned off. So everything is up and running with story progression. Don't forget, you, you can take out certain modules 
uh, in story progression. I actually removed four. Mo okay, what what are you doing? Oh, because I selected her momentarily. Damn it! That's what happens when you select somebody. They they let they get, they're allowed to come into the house. <laughs> what is she doing? That's the danger of selecting somebody. What is she doing? Where are you going? Okay, why are you ringing the doorbell over there? I don't know. <laughs> Does she actually know these guys? She just, she just went all through the house to ring the doorbell. That is too funny. Does, does he even know her? <gasps> he does know her, you guys. He's friends with her. He's friends with Theta Gilbert. And they've got two bolts. He, he better behave himself. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Because <laughs> he's home alone. He's not a romance sim, though. But he is a pleasure sim. So i got to make sure that... um That, yeah. He doesn't do anything. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> She's already in the house, so... I don't know why she rang the doorbell. <laughs> okay, he just said goodbye to her. Alright, off you go. Alright, so Shrek just received a child support. From Kara. The PT Kara. Alright, so that's kind of weird. So yeah, that's one of the dangers of selecting somebody if they're going past your house. <laughs> they might they might come into your house. And act strangely. Which is kind of weird that she came through the house and rang this doorbell over here. <laughs> I've never seen that before, ever. Oh my god. I don't know if that's story progression doing that or whatever. Anyway, this baby looks like uh, he needs a little TLC. So why don't you play with him? Cuddle him. And Shrek is just sort of doing his own thing. I'm going to actually put a, a an activity table down here for Shrek so he can draw us some pictures. I like to have toddlers and children draw at least two pictures at each life stage. So we're going to put the IKEA activity table down here, which can be like different colors. So, yeah, we're going to have to redo the bedrooms and stuff because I had to restart over again. Let's give him... Let's give him a green table. And we're going to... Put this over here. So it's got a little bit of light. And what we're going to do is we're going to... I actually don't... Yeah, I know that there's a mod out there that allows puppies and kittens and toddlers to use the stairs. But the animation is so weird that I took it out of my game. It just looked weird. So we're going to pretend that he crawled down the stairs. We're just going to pretend. You have to do a lot of pretending when you're playing The Sims. We're just going to pretend that he got down there the usual way. And we're going to have him draw some pictures for us so we can hang them up on the wall. Uh, children can draw up to three pictures. and um, So toddlers do, can do three pictures, but they're not as good as the children's pictures, obviously. The children ones are more detailed. But I think there's only three altogether. I do think that you can get default replacements, though. And you can also download other children pictures that you could just purchase in the catalog. But I do like to have them do at least two pictures, just for posterity. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Roscoe is guiding the extremely nearsighted Mr. Winter's home through the neighborhood when suddenly a large truck wildly rounds the corner near them. The seeing eye pet book of procedures calls for the guide to move the sim to a safe area and remain out of harm's way in case of unsafe drivers. However, the driver is making such wide and erratic turns, and there isn't really a safe area in sight, at least not, not one that they can get to in time. Roscoe needs to make a decision, and make one fast. What should Roscoe do? Run into the street, or stay put? Why would he run into the street? Um, stay put? The Book of Procedures says don't move. And if Roscoe has learned anything over the years, it's that one doesn't go against the book of procedures. <laughs> With the degree of patience not seen in many breeds, Roscoe watches the car meander back and forth on the street ahead. 
Seconds before the impact occurs, a satellite falls just in front of Roscoe and Mr. Winters, which grabs the driver's attention and <laughs> allows him to get the vehicle back under control. Oh my god. Both Roscoe and Mr. Winters exhale a sigh of relief as the driver speeds off into the distance. Though Roscoe never could have predicted the satellite ex machina, such a firm belief in the book of procedures impresses his superiors so much that Roscoe is promoted to rescue pet. Oh my god, he got a promotion, you guys. That's crazy. Anyway. Oh my god, that could have so easily gone the other- Oh, is this him? Is this his new carpool? <gasps> this is Roscoe's new carpool! Get out of here! Oh my god! The top position in service is teeming with excitement, fulfillment, and financial rewards. A savior to adventurous but unlucky sims everywhere. Your pet has earned a place among the heroes of the emergency response disaster squad. Oh my god, that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Look at his carpool. That's very exciting. All right, so let's see what's going on with Roscoe. Oh, he's got to pee really bad. Yeah, he's got to pee. Why don't you come over here and use this bush? Ah. So I have the pee bush enabled mod, so you just click on a bush and have them pee on that bush. Hey, blah, blah. Aw, good job, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna have him eat some food. Oh, did you see this? You see, remember I said earlier that sometimes p pet food dishes don't work? They stop working? This one stopped working. It's, it doesn't work anymore. I click on it, nothing happens, but this one still works. So this is why you have to have at least two bowls, if not three bowls. No matter how many pets you have, you need at least two. Just in case this happens. So we're going to have to delete this and just get a new one. It just, um, I don't know why it does that. It has nothing to do with any of the mods that I have. So yeah, that's just something you have to keep, keep in mind. Oh, I'm going to have him do that later. All right, so... Why don't you give him a bottle? Get a bottle for... Sh no, not Shrek. Get a bottle for... Where's the baby? Get a bottle for Shrek. Okay, they're not le allowing me to get a bottle for the, the other baby. That's really weird. That is really strange that it's not showing up. Where is Shrek? Is Shrek need a bottle? No, he's fine. His social is kind of down though, so maybe he could uh, he could do something about that. So go ahead and fill this fill this bowl again. So you have to really keep an eye on your pet bowls. Long story short, well, there's Dante Shaw. Speak of the devil. All right. Oh, mod fetching is aging up. Okay, so that's. Oh, look at that. She looks so handsome. Alright, that's one of what that's one of the uh that's a third generation dog, by the way. Maud is the old Maud and her twin brother Merv are the only third generation dogs right now. He has to actually No. I need you to pay some bills, sweetie. There you go. All right. All right. So he, it looks like he ate. Oh, wait a second. No, she's at work. Okay. So he came home early from work only because he was promoted. She goes later at night. She's a, until she gets promoted, she has to work at night. All right. So what are we going to do with him? Oh, wait a second. I think he needs to learn a new trick in order to get promoted again. He needs to learn how to roll over. So he won't be able, oh, he's already a rescue pet level four. Oh my god, he's a, he's, he's a level 4 rescue pet, you guys. Okay, so in order to get to level 5, he's going to have to learn how to roll over, you guys. So let's see, is he actually in the position to actually get trained right now? He's not too tired. 
So I'm going to actually have him teach him how to roll over so he can get to level five. I don't think I've ever had a pet get to level five before, honestly. Uh, what's it? Teach command roll over. There we go. So that's what he's going to do today. I don't know if he's going to be able to finish the training because Roscoe is actually kind of tired. But we'll, we'll give it a go. So cute. They did they did such a good job with the pet expansion pack, honestly. Dante, you're not just go go away. Nobody's gonna answer the door. <laughs> you're just embarrassing yourself at this point. Yes, he could call the pet trainer. The pet trainer sounds like that that English lady. We've talked about her before. She had a very famous show, TV show, um, in Britain in the eighties. And she wrote a whole bunch of books. And she also, her TV show in North America was shown on PBS. So your parents or grandparents might have watched her TV show on PBS back in the 80s. My mom and stepdad loved that show. She was so funny. I think her name was Brenda Woodhouse. She's a, she was like the first dog obedience trainer that had a TV show. She predated the Dog Whisperer. And she had the funniest voice and she and some of the ways that she would teach the dogs were just so funny. Anyway, the voice actor that plays the dog obedience trainer is trying to sound just like Barbara Woodhouse. Like if you listen to her and you, and you listen to the old videos from her TV show. Um, she also wrote a lot of books, by the way. My mother had two of her books, but she actually wrote like more than two. Super popular uh, in the 80s. Anyway, she was quite elderly when she became famous, but she had been a dog trainer for decades in England before she, she was sort of, sort of discovered by the BBC. Anyway, the voice actress is trying to copy her, so I could technically call them. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Rogo. So you can, you can listen to her voice. Rum, rum. But anyway, that's for for you people that are young and don't don't know who Robert Woodhouse is. That's who she's supposed to sound like. Uh, All right, where did Roscoe go? Ah, you come over here. And praise him for not chewing the furniture. We're gonna turn we're gonna turn this room into a, like an office for him, because the head of the SCIA should have his own posh office. I feel at the front of his house, and this could be like a craft room or something or a spare room. I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, maybe this could be the pet room. We could put all the pet beds in here. Oh, what's up? Oh, it's he's it looks like he's almost learned that he's very oh did he learn it did he learn it i think he just learned it you guys i think it just maxed out greetings my dear okay so we want to where is she where is she oh there she is all right come here uh influence to no that's not it i think he has to wait till she gets to the door Purchase training for Roscoe. Roll over. There we go. I think that she should just automatically go to Roscoe. Uh oh, Roscoe just went down. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, see what's happening here? He's going to have to he's going to have to purchase it again. Roscoe. Oh, she's already doing it. Okay, she's still doing it. Never mind. Looks like she's she's just gonna do it. She's just gonna go over there. Oh, she can't get through. Oh, she's blocked. All right, never mind. I have to unlock it. I'm gonna have to redo. I'm gonna have to redo it again. 
Okay, stop talking to her. Okay, I think she's just gonna automatically keep trying over and over again until she finally gets it. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, he's downstairs sleeping. Oh god, Shrek Shrek is in one of the beds. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> he's not that tired. Come on, Shrek. You're not that bad. Oh my god. Okay, where is okay, there he is right there. She's gonna have to figure out a way to get down there. I hope that she's able to get down there. It looks like she's going to try. Come on, you. You need to get up. You're about to get trained. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him bring Shrek up. Put him in the, the, uh, the chair. Give him something to eat. Oh, is she doing it? Yep, she's doing it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh. Is she gonna actually train the dog? Oh, she is. She's training the dog. Okay, never mind. So giving giving the dog like a like a little biscuit looks like it's part of the training procedure. Okay, so yeah, she'll get it trained in no time. It's totally worth the money to get the obedience trainer to do it because she can do it a lot faster. I find. Um, I'm pretty sure I told you to bring the baby upstairs. You're not even that stinky. I don't even know why you're doing that. All right, I need you to come down here. Sometimes when I tell a Sim to grab a child and they're on a different floor of the house, sometimes it just drops from the queue altogether. And I don't know if that's a mod that's doing that or that's just part of the Sims. So go ahead and pick up old Shrek. Oh, I don't think he can get to the I don't think he can get to the baby, you guys. Because she's in the way. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the move objects cheat. I think this is the reason why it keeps falling from the queue. Let's see if we can do it here now. Come over here. Okay, what is going on here? <gasps> Maybe he has to get out of the bed. You guys, I think he has to get out of the bed first. I don't think he can pick up a toddler while they're still in the bed. Had to sit, but she only yawned. Barbara Woodhouse, yes, for sure. If the toddler is using activity... Oh, toddler beds or pet beds. Well, so oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I get it now. But yeah, I do notice that sometimes when you tell a sim to take a child out of a crib and they're on a different floor of the house, that it just drops from the queue and it's you have to get them to go to that floor. It doesn't happen all the time, but... I wasn't sure exactly what was going on here. Okay, go ahead and... Okay, I think, I'm pretty sure I can just click on the toddler chair now. There we go. Oh, who's that? Oh, Stephen Loyal's playing with one of the dogs. That's fine. So I have a bunch of foods that I downloaded. So now children have a variety of things that they can have, but you can't click on here. Uh, if you if you click on here and you say serve Shrek food, they just get the standard mushy food. But if you go over here to the fridge, you can have an option. So you can give them cereal, fruit, mac and cheese, salad, spaghetti, or mush. Now mush is the default food. So we're going to give him fruit because it's kind of early in the morning. It's too early for spaghetti. <laughs> I think that was Jackie93 that did that. I'm going to assume it's Jackie93 because she does all that stuff. <laughs> so that's what the fruit looks like. A little strawberry, a little bit of orange, a little banana, some blueberries. All right, so I'm going to have him eat some. I'm going to have him clean that up. Oh, 
Oh, she's home from work. <gasps> uh oh, the baby's orange. Uh oh, I think somebody needs to be changed. Is she done with the dog? Yeah, she looks like he's about seven, seventy-five percent. I would say. Now, how gorgeous is that alien baby? Isn't he adorable? He's got blonde hair. Did a nice default. I use her default mush, but I think the custom foods are, are from Mod. Oh, is it from Mod The Sims? Okay, never mind. I stand corrected. I always assume Jackie93 does anything uh, food related, but she doesn't do all of them, obviously. I do have her default replacement for the mush because the regular mush looks kind of gross. I like my adorable weird baby better, but I like my weird alien babies. No, it's a matter of taste. It is a matter of taste, but see, here's the thing. I've been playing this game for 19, almost 20 years, and I've used the Maxis default alien the first 18 years, and I'm just sick of it. And I want my I want my alien babies to look a, like nice now. Like I'm I'm done with the whole green, the 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 green um. Alien that came with Maxis. I'm just done. I played it for 18 years, and that that's enough. <laughs> I need to change of pace now. <laughs> it is a matter of taste, though. Some people really like the Maxis aliens, which is fine. There's no right or right, wrong way to play this game. It's just it's all subjective. You can have whatever rules you want. You can cheat or not cheat. You can have strict rules, or you can play it loose, fast and loose. Okay, Simon Ella, Simon has returned. Did not get... Did he get... Hold on. Did he get a promotion? No, he didn't get a promotion. What is he? He's, he is level two. Oh, are you growling? You're not supposed to growl. Okay, so Roscoe could not finish his training. She said Roscoe needed to get take care of something. Call me for more training when Roscoe is ready again. Okay, so she, she wasn't able to finish training him because he's too tired, but he was very close to learning. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have, when Roscoe is uh, well again, I'm just going to have somebody in the house finish the training. So I think I'm going to say goodbye. Are you going to change this child's diaper? I'm going to actually say goodbye to her. Oh, she's making toast. <laughs> oh, my first object error. How exciting. <laughs> Why is it that whenever they do the toaster, it just resets like that? I'm going to have to get rid of this toaster. It used to not throw errors, and now suddenly it's throwing errors. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Bye. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. But that's definitely a Jackie 93 thing, but it worked fine for a while. So obviously it's it's interfering with something. Okay, these two are just playing with each other. So yeah, when Roscoe gets rest uh rested, we're going to uh Aw, she's gonna take him out of the, the high chair. So cute. Oh, uh oh. We might have to stop and check this error out if I keep getting the same error. Okay, see what this she keeps resetting. You see what's going on here? She keeps resetting. She keeps asking who do you want me to train? She's she's acting like she just arrived. So I'm not sure how we can get rid of her at this point. I'm going to have to shoe her. I'm going to have to have him go over there and shoe her. So I think that toaster is like doing something. Oh, is she leaving finally? Oh, there there it is. There's her car right there. Yeah, I think this is... I'm going to have to get rid of the toaster, which is kind of a bummer because I really like the toaster. He might as well eat that though. Oh, wait, he's not allowed to use the bathroom. 
Okay, he has to pee on the floor first. All right, first of all, we need to see what's going on with Crumpelina. She's hungry. She's tired. Oh, what's Zimba. happening with her arms? <laughs> where did Shrek go? Shrek, where did you go? Oh, where did Shrek go? Why is he downstairs? What's happening? I think I have to, I'm going to have to go into the, to the main hood. Something is kind of buggy. <laughs> I'm going to go into the main hood and come back in. Anyway. Loki and Cersei have three babies, twins and a singleton. Hi, Heritage. How are you? I have red, dark green, blue, or default green. It is 20 years next year. So it was supposed to be released in February, I believe. And it was postponed till September. Because uh, the ESRB had issues with a lot of the things in the game. And they told them. Because uh, EA desperately wanted the teen rating. Because they knew if they had a teen rating, they would sell more games. And the ESRB told them, no, we have like serious issues with some of the content. And we're going to have to give you an M rating for Mature. And so they basically had to postpone the game and change a whole bunch of stuff so they could get that teen rating. So that's why it was postponed till September. But it was supposed to come out in February of uh, 2004. So yes, it will be the 20th anniversary in next year. Anyway, let's go back into the house. I don't want to get rid of the toaster mod, but if it keeps doing that, I don't know what else to do. It's probably one of the traits mods that is doing it. Because the last time I did the object error, uh, like I did the what caused this app, it was one of the uh, supernatural traits. Okay, there's the baby. Oh, he disappeared. Okay, she, he's back in her arms. Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right, put, uh, wait a second. What kind of shape is he in? He's kind of tired. So I'm going to have her take him to the potty. Why did she take him to the potty? Oh, she's got to empty it first. Put uh, put the baby here. Go here. Okay, now he's just hanging on her shoulder. <laughs> All right. I don't know how to get rid of the baby now. <laughs> he's just hanging on her. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> love this game so much. <laughs> oh, that is just too cute. Okay, I don't know how to reset him. I think I guess just clicking on him. Where'd he go? Oh, he's at the bottom now. Okay, wait a second. I'm just going to teleport him back upstairs. <laughs> Uh, oh, she's got to pee. She's got to pee. She's she's actually allowed to pee, unlike her husband. <laughs> He's not allowed to pee. Please remind me not to let him pee, because I'm going to forget. <laughs> oh, my God. Why is he still floating downstairs? When you went to the basement, I could still see the baby floating on her arm. Shift click the baby. Yeah. I keep forgetting to do it. He is possessed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's going to pee on his own, and then we're going to put him to bed. His social cut is sucks, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her pick him up and just snuggle with him and tickle him to get his social up and then put him to bed. He also needs a bath, you guys. So after he gets up from his, uh, from his nap, we're going to give him a bath. So you come in here when he's done. Oh, Lindsay Stanton is aging up. Okay. So I think she was a baby. Now she's, um, looks like she's a toddler. Okay. Pick him up. Hold Shrek. Snuggle. 
No, don't put him down. Why did they do that? Come on, man. I hate it when they do that. Why can't you just hold the baby? Family kiss. Okay, that's good. That should raise that should raise it uh, uh, enough. Put in crib, Shrek. Uh, why is the baby on the floor? <laughs> oh God, that's too funny. I'm telling you, this game is gonna be the death of me. Oh, he's going to the bathroom! Damn it! Okay, stop, stop, stop going to the bathroom. Stop! Get up! Get up! Get up! I'm gonna actually put his bladder down. To here, it was like right here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He he snuck into the bathroom without my permission. Little bastard. <laughs> no, I'm putting it back down to here because that's where it was at. Okay, so the, he's gonna sleep. He's probably gonna wake up at nine o'clock at night because toddlers don't take long. Yeah, that's Harry. That's her her human child. Alright. He's having a shower though. He is allowed to have a shower, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until he pees his pants and then put him in the shower. So why don't you come over here? Looks like she's going oh, what's going on out here? Oh, uh, why don't you say hi to Sherman? You could become friends with Sherman. He's from a different, he's from um, Vincent's story, which is Bitville. So he's from the, the life story, uh, yeah, life Bill story, Vincent's story. All right, so the children are taking care of, what's going on with the animals? Uh, They'll probably sort themselves out. He's doing well, she's doing well. Uh, Corpolina is not doing well. She's hungry. Why don't you come up here and eat, sweetie? Oh, she needs to chew on something. Where's the bones? There's a bone here. I think I should move all the pet stuff into this room. Like, put all the pet beds in here. And some of the bones. There's a bone here as well. I can have her do this bone. Sometimes pets have to be told what to do. Like sometimes they can take care of themselves and they're very independent. It depends on their zodiac. So Crepolina is a doofus. She's lazy. She's finicky. and she, but, she, but she is independent. So I think the fact that she's a doofus, she kind of has to be told what to do. I find that animals who have this trait, kind of sometimes they don't eat and take care of themselves. All right, so why don't you talk about your hobby and then say goodbye because it is getting kind of late. Wait, wait a second, hold on. Ooh, they're not having a good conversation. Can you not tell him? Oh, ask to leave. Here you go. It was nice meeting you. Bye. <laughs> All right, uh, okay, so the kids are taken care of. Hold on. So, oh, he's out. In the, oh, okay, he's sleeping out in the dog, the, the, uh, the dog house, one of the dog houses. So I'm going to finish up his training tomorrow. Wait a second. When does he go to work tomorrow? Oh, he's going to work right now. Oh, no, he doesn't work for the, oh, because he's level four, you guys. Look at this. He's a level four pet now, rescue pet, and so he only works three days a week. What the fuck? He only works Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, that is a really good pet job, let me tell you. Oh, my God. So, I'm going to finish training him to roll over tomorrow because he's, like, so close to finishing that. And there's uh, Simon. He, need, he doesn't need any commands required. Crepolina has to learn how to speak. Um, Larkin does not need to learn anything. 
Okay, so she could be potentially promoted any time during this, this rotation. So we're going to leave the animals alone. And we're going to play some jazz music downstairs. All right, so we're also... So this is the laundry room. I might put the dog tub outside in the garage. I think I'm going to put the dog tub out here. I'm also going to give them their own car because they both make pretty good money and they really should have separate cars. So we're going to give this one a Vokes Okay, So she gets this car, which is the family car. And that's actually not a respectable car. We're going to give him... Um, We're going to give him a Ford F-150. <laughs> oh, damn. They don't have much money left, you guys. <laughs> now, that's funny. I don't think they have enough room to put the dog bath in here. I don't know if there's, there's enough room with the truck in there. I think we might have to keep the dog bath in here in the laundry room. Okay, we'll just keep it in there. That's fine. Um, so we are going to, we are, they're going to have to take out a loan, you guys. Where's the loan jar? Loan jar should be on top of the fridge. So we're going to take out 10000 Uh, We'll take out 25000 They should be able to afford that. How much money does he make? He makes three sixteen a day. She makes 525. She makes way more than he does. That's 800. Um, Simon makes, so that's uh, a, a little over 1,000. Oh, he makes 600. So that's uh, 1,600. We've got a 1,700. And so they make about between 18 and 1,900 uh, per shift. So I think that they have, that's going to be pretty good. They can pay back, pay it back in no time. What is she doing? No, you're not going to make avocado toast. I'm going to actually, you know what? I am going to have her make toast to see if it throws the same error again. So if it throws an error, I'm going to know that there is something wrong with this mod. Okay, why is it that she can make toast in... The NPC lady couldn't. Maybe it's because she was an NPC. So basically, if a guest makes toast, it throws an error. Or an, uh, more specifically, if an NPC makes toast, it throws an error. I don't know. We're going to have to experiment. If, if, if the people that live in the house do not throw an error for the toaster, I'm going to keep the toaster, you guys, and just put up with the errors that it throws. I do remember Jackie93 saying in her post that um, the toaster has a habit of, um, it has a high advertising rate. So people are become obsessed with it. They, they constantly want to make toast. And there was a second version that she offered so that it doesn't have a high advertising rate. So I might switch to the other toaster. But you know what I'm saying? I might switch to the other toaster. If that makes sense. Some objects have a high advertising rate and other ones don't. And there are mods to fix fix some of those objects. Like, for instance, the vending machines on the community lots have a very high advertising rate. But there's a mod that I downloaded to actually lower that advertising rate so people don't become obsessed with standing in front of the, um, the vending machines. Oh, what's going on? Odd perpetual lurk. <laughs> going down the stairs while holding the baby. <laughs> How does my Bella Goth look posted in Discord? Yes, there's a stairs in this house for some... I know, right? It's just this house, too. This is not the first... I'm glad that you remembered that, because the last time we were in this house, they had issues with the stairs. It's just so weird because they're, they're, there's nothing weird about them. Like I don't know what's going on. Anyway, they have money to actually do some more stuff. So I'm going to move the kids down when they become children. But at least they have money to actually make the bedrooms. Uh, 
I don't know. When is Shrek becoming a child? He's becoming a child in 51 days. Is she stinky? I can't tell. Oh, she's super stinky. Do you want to take a bath? Why don't you go ahead and take a bubble bath? All right, so did he pee? No, he hasn't peed yet. Ha 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 He's going to pee himself. <laughs> Wait, does he work tomorrow? He does work tomorrow at 2 p.m. though, so he can sleep in a little bit. All right, so Crumpelina is starting to look good again. She Oh, she's super tired now. But at least she's her her motives are up again. So why don't you go down here and sleep? We might as well set up the bedrooms while we're down here. And they they're gonna need a shared bathroom, so we could probably put the bathroom here, maybe. We could also put the shared bathroom here. Hmm. Yeah, that's not big enough. Or we could put it here. I think I'll put it here. Which means I'm going to have to move these over. Hello. Oh my god, my game mouse is going crazy here. You see what's happening? But this is my crappy game mouse. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to get rid of this and just use that instead. That's a little better. I'll probably put like an, an aquarium here or a bar. I could put a bar there. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a little private hallway here. So when they have when they have like guests over and stuff like that, the kids will have some privacy. Hello. There we go. Hmm. There we go. Kids can have some privacy now, so they have their own separate hallway. So if they get up in the middle of the night while they're having a party, they could just go into the bathroom, use the bathroom if they have to. I put too much thought into this game, honestly. <laughs> what the fuck? What is wrong with my brain, honestly? All right, so these paper lamps that I'm using, these are just temporary lamps. I'm not going to keep them. I, just, I, I do the IKEA collection folder when I'm trying to redecorate quickly. <laughs> is there is there no lights in here oh there are lights in here okay never mind okay so as usual i'm just going to use a temporary paint for all the walls i will i will decorate accordingly later okay so it's starting to take shape down here so they still have plenty of room for a billiards table a poker table uh, a train set. We could put a train set down here. I don't think any of them are tinkerers, though. Um, if if one of them was a tinker, I would definitely put a, a train table. I love the train set. My mother loved train set. She had this train set she would set up around the Christmas tree every single year, and she would play with it. Like, right up to her last Christmas, she was on the floor playing with it. She was, like, in her 70s, and she was on the play Like, 
she was act she was acting like a little six year old playing with her train set. It was just so cute. Uh, anyway, so that's what that's what the new downstairs looks like. This is really coming together. I very I like it quite a bit. So this is where the kids are going to go. And now that we know she's pregnant again, even if she has another boy, uh, we can put the, the oldest boy Shrek in this room and the two youngest boys can share that room. Anyway, uh, this is not what it's going to look like. I just like to use the same, while I'm deciding what to do with the house, I like to use the same wallpaper and flooring so I don't get overwhelmed. My brain doesn't get overwhelmed. It's just a, a little trick that I came up with. Anyway, this this will all be moved down when, when they're older. We're not going to move the babies down there just yet. This will, and eventually, we're going to make this temporarily his office until that happens. Um, Yeah. And then we might make one of the rooms just for the pets, maybe? I don't know. Um, Let's use... The Better Bath Collection. Just put a couple things down here. Put like a little bathtub. Toilet. All right, we'll, we'll decide on the color next time or maybe maybe later in, in the stream. I'm just getting it set up for the time being. Okay, so we have laundry room, dog tub. They have their own private hallway for privacy. Um, we're going to keep this like this for the time being. Put the, all the dog beds. We'll put this dog bed back. Okay, we actually have a bunch of bones down here. We have two bones down here. So we should have enough down here. I feel like we should put the dog dishes down there as well. I don't think the dog dishes should be upstairs. Let's go ahead and do that. I feel like there should be more than two downstairs, but whatever. We'll, we'll decide that later. I need the better bath collection. Yeah, my crystal voo is enemies with nervous subject. Oh, interesting. Well, nervous is just a jerk for the lack of better terms if you have his Max's person. Exactly. He, he's a little abrasive. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> you would have to, like, you would have to fiddle around with his personality to make him nicer, I think. All right. All right, so she's sleeping. Hold on. Yeah, she's sleeping. It's actually 9 o'clock at night. Okay, so is she? Oh, oh, he's going to the bathroom. No, no. Stop doing that. You're so naughty. No, stop it. Get off. No, we're going to keep it here. It was right here. It was right there. No. Get off. No. I'm going to make you pee on the floor if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> you what are you doing on my porch at nine o'clock at night i think that's a teenager that's a teenager what are you doing on my porch oh she's jogging never mind false alarm <laughs> i'm like what the fuck are you doing there we go it's a little bit better these lights, I love these lights. They're by Pineapple Forest, part of the vintage collection. But honestly, they are they don't give you a lot of light. But anyway, I might give that, oh, just a sec. I might actually put some more light here. Maybe I'll use one of these. No, that's too big. One of those. No, that's way too big. What the fuck? Oh, okay, that's actually a little bit better. I don't want it to be too bright. Her personality is randomized at game start. She's turned out really, really mean. 
trying to find a way to make my game load faster than 20 minutes and nothing working. I have a oh, 50 gigabytes. Good lord. Bubble Gamer Girl, that's a, that is way too much CC. What the hell? <laughs> my lord. <laughs> uh, her personality should not be randomized. It should be the same if you're using the vanilla neighborhood. However, if you're using like a remake of the neighborhood by somebody else, that person, like if you have a remake of Strange Town, um, the person who re remade that town might have fiddled around with her personality. Uh, she should have the same personality as uh, listed in the wiki. Uh, the only thing that's randomized, I believe, is her interests. I think her interests are randomized, but she should have the same personality. I don't know. It depends. If you have the um, early Strange Town hood, then it might be a little different from the vanilla. Oh, he's going to the bathroom again! St oh my god! I cannot stop him from sneaking into the bathroom! Dude! This is He's gonna drive me crazy. Get up! Stop peeing. He was, like, right down there. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna make him play guitar, because that's the only way that I can get him to not pee. And have him play some jazz guitar. You see that? He keeps sneaking in there because I, I start blabbing. <laughs> I start like, blah, blah, blah. And then I, he sneaks into the bathroom while I'm blabbing. <laughs> All right. She has to go to bed, you guys, but she's hungry because she's pregnant. So we need to make sure she has a little bit of bite to eat. So we're going to give, she's going to have like an omelet with vegetables and grilled zucchini, which is a Jackie 93 thing. Looks like the dogs are all in good shape. Yeah, you shouldn't go over 10. That's... Meet me to the river. Um, I would definitely get rid of stuff. But you have to really ask yourself, do I really use this CC? Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, Recently, I reinstalled the game in February. Because I reinstalled this game at least once a year. And I decided to redo my downloads folder from scratch. Um, it's something you should do every couple years at least. And so I, I re-downloaded everything. And it, it's actually a good idea to do that because it forces you to read the directions of everything you're downloading. And you will be surprised and shocked at uh, how many details that you've forgotten about. Especially now that I have the three to two trait system. Now that I use that, there's a lot of mods that I can no longer use because they're not compatible with the 3 to 2 trait system. So I re reread all the directions and I, I read all of the compatibilities and all of the things that, that um, conflict with it. And there was a lot of stuff I could not re-download because it just was not, it wasn't going to work in my new configuration. So you should probably do that same thing. It took me three weeks to do that. Uh, but it's totally worth it because it you do it does force you to read the directions of everything you download. And you have to take a lot of notes when you do this, but it's worth it. So I would recommend that you just start from scratch. Like don't don't delete your downloads folder. What you do is you put it you you keep you put the folder next to the new folder and then you go through each section, your each organized section. Oh, it's you know what she's doing? It's because she doesn't have a microwave. She she thinks the toaster is a microwave. The toaster is actually a replica of the microwave. That's why she's do making her dinner with the toaster. <laughs> Just in case you guys didn't know. Um. Anyway. Oh. Oh, she re Did you see that? She did you see that? She reset. I'm going to get a microwave, you guys, and see if she doesn't do that. Let's try this again. Anyway, that is that is my advice to everybody, is to re-download the game at least once a year and redo your downloads folder from scratch. Like, like read the directions for everything you download and really ask yourself, am I really going to use this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is this really important to me? 
uh, yeah, that's what I recommend. Because I, I will tell you that I got rid of so much stuff because I did that. What? All right, so. Oh, <laughs> my brother just opened a beer. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but he just opened a beer right next to my microphone. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, we need to do an experiment because this is getting kind of ridiculous about the whole toaster situation. I really don't want to get rid of my toaster. So let's go ahead and put an actual microwave in here and see what happens when I have her make one of the healthy foods from Jackie93. Okay, so we're going to do this again. And we're going to see if she goes over to the toaster. Nope, she's going to the microwave, you guys. Okay, let's see if she resets. Okay, so she's not resetting. So if you're using Jackie 93's toaster or any of her stuff, any of her stuff, you should keep in mind that most of her appliances are copies of the microwave. So basically, she duplicated the microwave. For almost all her, uh, she has several uh, small appliances. She has a muffin maker and a couple of other things. So anyway, if you get one of her appliances, make sure you have an actual microwave. If you're going to use the healthy foods, you see the healthy food mod that I have. This is Jackie 93. If you have this healthy food mod um, from Jackie 93, make sure you have an actual microwave if you also have her, some of her other appliances because otherwise it will it will actually throw an error no you're not going over there okay see it's not throwing an error so we just did an experiment and we learned quite a bit of information there so now i don't have to get rid of my toaster because i fucking love my toaster <laughs> i really like my toaster because children can use it, and it just it's just a cute little object. I really like it. Okay, so she's going to eat some food because she is pregnant, so we have to keep her appetite up. Uh, yeah, we're just going to have him play guitar until he has to pee. <laughs> is, he still, is he still asleep? I'm going to cheat and to put his energy down like this. So he doesn't wake up. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> I don't want that little shit waking up at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's there's Simon. Senior Simon. What's going on with Simon? He's doing pretty good. Oh, he's eating. Nope, he's going to chew his bone. Oh, he went to the bathroom again, you little fucker! Ugh! Damn it! Okay, he was down to here, right? He was down to there. I'm pretty sure he was down here. Like, he was, like, right there. Something, so, he was, like, in this area. You asshole. I have to keep an eye on this guy. Ugh! Just keep practicing, you little shithead. I'm just, just gonna keep the camera on him so he doesn't go to the bathroom. This is like the seventh time he's gone to the bathroom without my permission. <laughs> oh my god. You heard the, you heard the beer can. <laughs> Hi, Safi. <laughs> he did that on purpose, by the way. He said he wanted to add, he wanted to add some ASMR to my stream. <laughs> Wow, you suck, dude. You really suck. What What is your creativity skill? His creativity skill is only three. Oh, uh, has it been more than an hour? I have to take a break. Oh my god, it's been two hours, you guys. I missed my first break. What the hell? No wonder I have to pee. Jeez Louise. Okay, I'm going to go pee, you guys. Do I'm going to play a three-minute ad break, and I will be back after that. I do not want you watching these ads. I want you to also get up and stretch your legs and get something to drink, top off your tea, take your dog out. Do anything but watch these ads, and I will be right back.
Oh, look at that. I have five seconds left. Five seconds. <laughs> I got back with five seconds to spare. Woohoo. Okay. Uh, is he going to? No, you can't use. No, you can't use the bathroom. So I'm going to actually have you come over here and praise for not chewing the furniture. No, you're not using the bathroom. Fuck off. Oh my god. This happens every time somebody plays a stream loops card. <laughs> Where they can't go to the bathroom. This happened last time. It's just that these sims are really sneaky. <laughs> Stay there, puppy. Don't move. Okay. So I'm just going to keep him busy till he pees. He pees his pants. I think she did. She finally learn it. It's okay. Oh, she's almost gonna do it. Praise for eating pet food. No, yeah, go ahead, pee the floor, pee the floor, so we can send you to bed. I'm just gonna have him praise praise the animals for doing good things. Okay, now you're gonna praise. Oh. We're gonna praise for eating pet food. Oh, just do it. Just let it go. Aw, so cute. Aw! Roscoe's chewing. Not chewing the furniture. I think Crumpelina is the. Oh, oh my god. Hurry up and just pee. He's so close to peeing on the floor. Oh! I think he's actually learned that behavior. He looks like he's learned it. Oh, just, 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 just pee. Just do it. Oh, no, no, you're not using the bathroom! No! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're not using the bathroom. I'm sorry, but somebody played a streamlets card. I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Come over here. Come on. I want to see you pee on the floor. Why don't you hold on? I'm going to have him pick him up. Um, play. Oh, can he not pick him up? Yell at, try for puppy with, teach command. Yeah, I don't think he can pick him up because he's not a puppy anymore. I'll have him rub his belly. Just pee on the floor. I'm pretty sure that he will pee on the floor after he rubs his belly. This will put him over the edge. Can't you lock the door? Oh! I played it. <laughs> Don't apologize, Nemertes! The whole point of the stream loots is to cause drama. <laughs> this is called the Young Kitchen. There we go! There we go! Bob's your uncle. Mop it up. Go to bed. It's, all, it's fine. It's fine. You're fine. All right, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Actually, he needs to have a shower. This is now he's super stinky. And then he's going to go to bed after this. It's all good. Don't apologize for playing the card. <laughs> I'm the one that created the card in the first place, so. All right, so it is 1:42 in the morning. So he's he can sleep in though. He doesn't work till two ish. Oh, the baby has to. The baby needs help. Okay, you need to get up and pick up the baby. Hold Harry. Ah, change Harry's diaper. Just pee on the floor. Such a normal thing to say. <laughs> I know, right? How many times did he go to the bathroom without my permission? Like, he snuck it in while I was talking. Oh, you little fucker. 
I'm pretty sure that I put your energy down to zero. Why are you out of bed? Oh, look at that. Now he's going to want to, like, do play all night. I hate it when toddlers do that. I could technically give him chamomile baby milk, which is also a Jackie 93 thing. Might, she might as well nurse him while she's up. Play. I'm going to have her play with him first. Because you can't play with a child after you nurse him, obviously. And... Cuddle. And then you're going to nurse him. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. There it is. And then you're going to put him back to bed. I'm sorry. Are you being aggressive with the child? You can't be aggressive with the child. What is going on here? Bark at. Yeah, you can't be barking at the child. That is a big no-no. You're going to have to reprimand this dog. Hostility towards others. Yeah, no kidding. Especially a child. That's a big no-no, Simon. No, we can't be doing shit like that. Yeah, you need to reprimand that dog, like, right now. Spidey! Yeah, bad doggy. Can't be doing stuff like that, buddy. And now you can nurse the baby. Aw, is he gonna snuggle with the with uh, Roscoe? Why don't you cuddle with him? Poor Roscoe. He's like, oh my god. <laughs> he was pretty good natured about it. No, don't put him back in the thing. Just nurse him. Why do Sims do that, honestly? Yeah, he's hungry. He's hungry for sure, and he's uh, he needs to pee. Dude, you need to pee, and you also need a bath. Might as well just give him a bath while she's up. Is she, is she working tomorrow? She works at 8 a.m., you guys. She needs to get up in a few hours. Well, she's going to have to pull an all-nighter. She's just She can't go back to bed. She's going to have to drink coffee at this point. Yeah, she's going to have to stay up there. I mean, it's f it's almost 4 o'clock in the morning, and her carpool gets here at 7 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. She's just going to have to drink coffee from this point forward. Because he needs, he needs a bath, and she's already up nursing the baby. Of course, he just went to bed, so he can't really help. Although his energy is pretty good right now. Toddlers hugging babies is cute. Yes. We do the actual modes and not the CC. Oh, the actual mods and not the CC, but yeah, because I'm having some errors and clean it up a little bit, mostly with my favorite modes, so I want to fix it. Oh. Yeah. You have to get a breastfeeding mod. I use the one by Boiling Oil. There's actually several breastfeeding mods. I use the Boiling Oil one. I find it's the best one written because Boiling Oil is a really good modder. He knows what he's doing. He's retired now, but he still um, he still says things in like he still checks in with his uh, website and he still offers support for his mods and and stuff like that. So he's not one of those modders that retired and then disappeared like Piscato. He's still active in the community. But yeah, his breastfeeding mod to me is the best. All right, so yeah, she's just going to she's going to stay awake cuz it's almost 5 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to have her um get ready for 
for work. Like, she's pregnant, but she doesn't know she's pregnant. So, because of the new, the aging mod that I have, the 16 days equals a year by um, Maddie2k2, uh, Sims are pregnant for 12 days, so they don't know they're pregnant until they have their first bump, which is like day four. So, she's not going to know she's pregnant for several days. Probably after I finish playing her. Like, when I start playing the next family, she's going to get her bump, and then, but that, by then, I won't be playing her, so. Okay, now, the only thing he needs, oh, oh, she, okay. She's, she's throwing up now. Oof. All right, go ahead and take a shower. I'm going to, she's going to have to call a maid. Yeah, she's going to have to call a maid. This is getting a little ridiculous. At this point, she needs to get her hunger up. Um, the baby getting a bath is probably secondary at this point. As a matter of fact, Henry is, can give him a bath because he doesn't have to be to work till 2. So, yeah. We're going to have, like, an actual breakfast. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have her serve breakfast so there's more than two... More than two servings. Kitty pancakes? What the hell is kitty pancakes? Oh, I'm going to have her make kitty pancakes. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, what's going on with Crumpolina? Crumpolina, what's going on, buddy? Oh, she wants to pee, but she can't. So, dogs cannot pee on a bush if it has this, if it has this stuff. And I wish it wasn't like that. So, unfortunately, we are going to have to just get rid of all this stuff. I think I'm just going to get rid of all these these hedges anyway. It's kind of ridiculous that we have all these hedges here. Oh. So, I'm going to have her pee on this bush. Aw. Oh, does she already have a maid? Okay, never mind. They already have a maid. Why don't you call the nanny? Alright. So yeah, I'm just going to probably get rid of all these bushes. There's no reason to have all these things anyway. Oh shit, what's happening in my game? Oh, did I hit the thing again? No, I didn't. I don't know why it just did that. I, I thought I hit this, the, uh, the print screen button, but I didn't. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I, w I recommend the boiling oil mod because there is another breastfeeding mod that does not work as well. Uh, the thing about the breastfeeding mod is that there's different flavors that you can choose from. Like, there's different stuff. Ones that you can get. So you just have to read the directions. But he, he actually knows what he's doing when, uh, with his mods. I highly recommend. I have most of his mods. I have almost all of boiling oil mods. There's just like a handful that I don't have. But just because, not because I don't like them. They just don't fit my game style. Um, oh, oh, check schedule. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I would highly recommend you download his other stuff too. Especially the dance and music fixes. Uh, if you don't like people just suddenly muscle dancing, just out of nowhere, you're going to want his dance and music fix mod. It is a game changer. They will no longer autonomously just start smussling unless you tell them to. And if they do smussle, they ha it has to be near like an actual uh, stereo or DJ booth. They can't just do it in the middle of the street. <laughs> All right, so now she needs to eat. Okay, she's just going to throw up again. I want her to make kitty pancakes because I want to see what they look like. Crippolina, what are you doing outside? Did I not tell you to go to the bathroom? I'm pretty sure I told you to go to the bathroom. Okay, she's going to the bathroom again. Okay, all right, I don't know what's going on with her. Oh, he's getting up. 
Okay, so I'm going to actually have him give Shrek a bath. Uh, bathe Shrek. Because he is, he is kind of stinky. Look, look how stinky he is. Also, he's hungry. So after the bath, he's going to put him in the high chair and, and do all that stuff. Uh, are you going to eat? Okay, does she not have an, a, a counter? I guess she doesn't have a counter, you guys. She can't use this counter to prepare food? It's a little weird. She's look, it looks like she's running out of counter space. Um, We're going to have to probably give something up. We're going to have to give up the toaster, not because it doesn't work. Like, I don't understand why she can't use this counter to prepare her food. Is it because there's a trash compactor there? Is that why? I'm going to say, hold on. Let me get rid of that. Could, could she not use this? Oh! Ah! Does this... Hold, hold on. I need to get the other one. The one that you uh, showed me. Nemertes, you actually posted it in my thing and I forgot to get it. The one that's like a half size. You know that one? Cause that's like way too big but i've seen i've seen sims use the islands to prepare so i'm not sure why she's not doing that anyway go ahead and prepare that no 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 do this resume cooking what are you doing oh my god why is there toast there she's gonna starve to death there we go. Now go give him a bath. I love it when they give toddlers baths. Just, it's just too cute. Alright, she needs to be at work soon. I think she should call in sick. She's literally going to, you know what? She's going to starve to death. Eat the toast. Eat the toast. No, don't take the toast. Don't take the toast. Oh, my God. She's throwing up again. Eat the toast. Quick. You're going to starve to death. Oh, my God. She's not going to make it. Hurry, for the love of God. I don't even know what she's carrying. What are you carrying? Just, just take the toast. Oh, my God. She's so close to death. She has to be at work in 30 minutes. She's going to be late. Does she have vacation days? <gasps> she's got a shit ton of vacation days. What the hell? Oh, no. She's calling She's calling in. She's going to call in sick. She's going to take a vacation day. Or does she have to call in for a vacation day? Or could she just not show up? And it's just... I'm not sure how that works. Does she have to call in on a vacation day? No. Okay. So she, I'm just going to... She's not going to work today, guys. She's not going to work. She got 12 vacation days. That is insane. He's only got one vacation day. <laughs> How did that work? How does that work? <laughs> Use that the maternity or vacation days is separate from vacation. Oh, okay. No, there's different flavors for the mod. Like some mods come in different flavors and you have to choose one flavor. Like if you if you go to his website, um you have to choose which breastfeeding mod you want. I think there's like three different uh flavors to choose from. You gonna give him a bottle, you're gonna put him in the high chair. Yeah, okay. So I need you to finish making this because you need to make kitty pancakes for me. <laughs> Uh, and we don't need her anymore. She can leave. So yeah, I'm going to have him dismiss her. Aw, it's so cute that he's bonding with his stepson. Deck, deck. It's too adorable. Alright, bye lady. Oh, she's going to clean the toilet before she leaves. <laughs> 
that's funny. Are you not gonna make the kitty pancakes? What is going on with you? Resume I cooking. Know. I want to see these kitty pancakes. Oh, why aren't? Why isn't the lights on in this room? Turn on this room. There we go. Sh oh, they're shaped like a, ki a Hello Kitty. Look, they're shaped like Hello Kitty. <gasps> oh my God, that's so freaking cute. You guys, I want Hello Kitty pancakes. Like right now. Oh my God, those are cute. Oh, oh my God, dude. Oops, I accidentally hit the V button. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Wait a second, is she is the nanny still here? Is the nanny still here? Did she leave? Because sometimes the nannies don't leave. It's kind of annoying. I don't think she's here. Oh, oh, I see the kid is playing. Okay. Are you hungry? Yeah, he's actually hungry. Why'd you have some? Oh my god, these are adorable. Hold on. How fucking adorable is that? So that's the butter, and that's the syrup. I'm telling you, Jackie93 mm, is a genius. She's a genius. She's yeah. awesome. Alright, Shrek. Why don't you go downstairs and draw me another picture? Because he already drew one picture, so we're just going to do this. We're going to pretend he's cr he crawls downstairs on his own. And we're going to hang this up on the wall. Okay, it looks like the food dishes uh, need to be redone, you guys. Fill the bowls, fill the bowls. And they're both, but they're both empty. Got to keep an eye on those, uh, on those bowls. Look, her hunger's going up quite a bit. Comfort level's going up. Yeah, she's just gonna take a vacation day. She's earned that. Oh! Simon's off to his work. Oh, who's this? Oh, Pippa DeBoer and Naomi Moore. So that, she's uh, Naomi Hunt from Vincent's story. Remember Vincent ended up with Naomi in that story? So that's her. They adopted um, the the daughter of Precious DeBoer, who is Diana DeBoer's dog. If you remember that from Best in Show. She's like the bad guy in that, and she gets arrested. In the original story, she ends up getting arrested because she's like super bad, but not Like half of the kitty is gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually mm -hmm. kind of funny. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's super tired, you guys. Aw. Okay, so hold on. He needs to actually... He actually has to be put back to bed. So when she comes down to redo the food... Um, she can put him back to bed. Okay, while you're waiting for that, why don't you play with your blocks? I don't understand why Sims talk so much when they're eating. I actually have a mod. It's called Eat More, Talk Less, but I don't think it works anymore. I think it stopped working after free time. I have it in my load last folder, like my last chance folder, and it still doesn't work. So if you put something in your last chance folder and it still doesn't work, you're you're basically fucked. It's not going to work if, if, you know, because if it's the last thing that your game loads and it still doesn't work, it's, it's just not working anymore. It's like broken or it's not compatible with the ultimate collection. It's a very, very old mod anyway, so it's from Inseminator. I'm pretty sure Shabik, either Shabik did it or... Squinged in it. So that's how old it is. Okay, she's just gonna keep throwing up over and over again. Okay, I'm gonna need you to actually go get Shrek and put him in the crib. 
Because your wife is throwing up constantly. <laughs> oh, there's the maid. <laughs> She's got her Ooh, work, work cut out for her. All right, why don't you have have some more kitty pancakes? Okay, you see what's happening? I told him, oh, that's why, because he went to bed, in the dog bed. Okay, hold on. Out. All right, you come down here. Pick up your stepson. You're going to have to hold... No, don't get back in the bed. I know you're tired, but honestly, you have to go into the crib. No! So oh. Mama. Hello! Oh, you're pregnant! Naomi's pregnant, you guys! I didn't know she was pregnant! Oh, I love story progression so much. I, lo I, lo I love the chaos. And <laughs> Alright, Shrek, I need you to wake up. I know you're tired. Why don't you actually fill the bowls while Shrek is getting out of bed? No, Shrek, come on, get up. You know what? I'm going. If he wants to sleep in the dog bed, maybe I should just let him. <laughs> All right, hold Shrek. Hold Shrek. Hurry, hurry before he goes back to bed. Grab him, grab him. Oh my God, he's going back to bed. If he goes back to the dog bed again, I'm just going to let him sleep. Go get, oh, that dog is super stinky. Okay, he's also hungry. Because he's dreaming of having a bottle. Are you going to take, oh, she's going to pick him up. Okay, I think she's going to put him to bed. <laughs> oh, she's all worried because he's super tired. <laughs> she's like, oh, my poor baby's exhausted. He was sleeping in a dog bed. Oh my god. <sighs> he's literally oh, he's laughing at the baby. Oh my god. That's uh, He's laughing at the baby for falling asleep while sitting up. That is so mean. What what are his personality traits again? Charismatic, brave, good. Animal lover. Close romantic, eccentric. Excitable? I don't think this has anything to do with the fact that he's laughing at his stepson. <laughs> this dog is super stinky. We have to give it a bath. All right, why don't you give this dog a bath? Uh, wash Larkin. Oh, now she's going to throw up again. Damn it. What the hell? Okay, now she can't even pick up the kid. This poor kid is just like totally. You know what? I'm just gonna let him sleep in the dog bed. He's just. I'm just gonna let him sleep in the dog bed. Oh nope, she's gonna pick him up again. Never mind. She's gonna try to pick him up again. Hopefully she won't run off and throw up again. All right, so the dog Larkin's gonna get a, a much needed bath because she is super duper stinky. Okay, he has to go to work. Ah, so cute. All right, so L Shrek is finally going to bed. He actually has to pee, so he might have an accident, but that's fine. All right, so what is what's going on with her? She's hungry again. Oh, she can't eat this. It's bad. Okay, she actually has to make more food. Go ahead and have some pumpkin soup puree with seeds. Oh, the baby. Okay, hold on. You need to change the baby. Ugh. This is going to be one of those streams. <laughs> I could only get a plant sim child and teen to work with it and the sim manipulator. Oh. Thank you, spider, for the lurk. I hope you're having a good Friday. There is one by Crammy Boy. Eat more talk. That's that's the one that I'm using. The Crammy Boy one. But I believe somebody did an edit of that one. And I don't know who did the edit. 
but somebody did an edit of that one and that's the one that i'm using it's it wasn't i thought it was inseminator but it's not inseminator it's crammy boy but i think that um who did the edit of it was it monique no it wasn't monique it might have been mitch the tree somebody did like a, an, a special edit of that one so it would work with newer mods anyway um all right put the baby back i don't think the baby needs to be fed put the toy back shrek is out like a light all right now she has to have more food oh my god this is gonna be one of those she's uh, louise have lunch I'm going to have her make healthy food because it's faster. I'm going to have some tea. Oh, she's using the toaster again. Is it because she was standing in the way of the microwave? Maybe because the maid was in the way? That's probably it. It might throw an error, though. No, no, you don't. Oh, see it through an error. All right, let's try this again. Healthy food. Let's see if she uses the the microwave this time. Oh no, she's in the she's gonna be in the way again. Okay, that's why she did. Okay, hold on. She is using the microwave this time. I don't know why she used the toaster. Why did she use the toaster? You have to keep an eye on these. Oh, no, you don't. Mm -mm. I'm not going to let your, your sim ADD ruin, like, catch catch fire in the microwave. Oh, my God. She's just going to be constantly hungry. Thank goodness they have a maid. Her comfort level sucks. She's going to have to take a bath. I'm going to have her take a bubble bath, because bubble baths will actually raise your comfort level a lot, as well as your hygiene. So it sort of kills two birds with one stone. That's the only time I have a sim do a bubble bath, is if their comfort level is super low. Oh my god. Is Helenia? Oh, there's the skunk. Okay, she has 11 vacation days, that's fine. Oh, I'm just going to put it on the t on the two. I actually, I'm going to save my game in case it crashes. <laughs> I laugh, but it's, it's, I'm being serious. <laughs> so it looks like I'm going for go through it mod by mod. Oh, great. Oh! Well, what exactly is going on? What 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 are you having trouble with, uh, Gabby? Are you talking about the um the plant sim mod? Because the plant sim mod is uh, it's not compatible with a lot of mods. It's it's kind of it barely works in the best in the best case scenario. It barely works so. If you have lots of mods, it's probably just interfering with one of them. Oh, she, I think she's just gonna yeah, breastfeed the baby. There she goes. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna get take himself to the potty. Alright. She's gonna take care of herself. What's Shrek doing? Shrek took himself to the potty. He's probably just gonna like play the dollhouse. Oh, he's actually green across the board, so he's doing really well. Oh, did she come back from? Okay, yeah, she came. Crumpelina came back from work. It's actually four o'clock, so I think that Her Henry should be getting home soon. Oh no, he goes to he he gets home at eight because he goes to work at two. Right, I keep forgetting about that. All right, what's going on with Crepolina? Crepolina is not comfortable. She has to pee. She's tired. She needs a bath. I will give her a bath later when she's, you know. 
Okay, I'm actually going to have Shrek teleport down here. Oh, there's an opening in showbiz career track as a stunt double level three. Take the job. Oh my god, Simon got, he got promoted. He's a stunt double now. That is amazing. Go ahead and draw me another picture, sweetie. I just have one right now. And I want at least two. All right. All right, so he's actually busy downstairs. Go to, go to bed. Sweetie, if you're tired, go to bed. Go, go to bed. Now, don't bark at him. Just go to bed. He's gonna, he's literally gonna fall asleep. What is going on with Crumpelina? She's like, okay, she's actually in bed right now. But she is like really not doing well. There's Roscoe. Roscoe's doing well, but he needs a bath. Like, pretty much all the dogs need a bath, except for um, Larkin. She's the only one that's had a bath recently. But they're all kind of due for it anyway. Alright, she's taking a much-needed uh, bubble bath. Okay, so she's doing pretty well. She's hungry again, though. So she's going to make something else again. And this time we're going to serve dinner. We're going to make um, Bibby Mat Bowl with Mushrooms. I know that's a Korean dish and I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly so I apologize. But it looks really good. When I see people cook it on TikTok, it's like, oh my god, I would totally eat that if somebody made that for me. But in terms of me make it, making it myself, I just do, don't have the physical strength to prepare that. Oh, the maid has to leave. She actually still has work to do, but she's leaving because it's after 5 o'clock. <laughs> that tells you how dirty the house is. <laughs> oh my god. Well, at least she's going to cook like an actual meal. Because these little Jackie 93 healthy food meals don't satiate your appetite as much as a, like at a regular meal. Alright, so she's going to have to just come back tomorrow. Alright, there goes Larkin. Just in time, because she, she's had her bath. So hopefully she'll get promoted. Roscoe still has to finish learning uh, to roll over. He's very close to finishing it, so I'm just going to have her do it. Or maybe he can do it when he gets home for work. So he needs a bath. Simon needs a bath. And Krupalina needs a bath. Okay, so that's what Bibby Map with mushrooms looks like. It's like a Korean dish. Mm. It has, it's like di five, five or six different ingredients in a bowl, and then you put like an egg in there, and the egg cooks. So it's, it looks so good when I watch it on TikTok. You got filming this. I just, like I said, I don't have the physical strength to like cook all my meals from scratch. It's like I ha if I'm having a good if I'm having a good day and I have the energy, I might make um, one meal, like a spaghetti or macaroni and cheese or something simple like that. But there's no way I could ever cook something that with that much work. Of course, when you're watching it on TikTok, they make it look like it's not much work, but it actually is. <laughs> By my standards, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Aw, Lisa Gilbert is aging up. Cory fetching is aging up. Okay, so we have some babies who are now toddlers. She's not having any fun, you guys. Her fun is really low. She hasn't done any nature nature related stuff because she's constantly looking after the children and taking care. And I haven't even decorated the living room. The living room is still the original living room that came with the house. But that that's fine. I don't care, but We'll, we'll get around to decorating the living room next time. I might have to basically change the kitchen so these are counters right here. Because they kind of need more counter space.
All right, I think you need to have, she needs to have one more serving. And then I'm going to have her work on her uh, her fun level. I'm going to have her watch TV. Where is the TV? Wait a second. Where's the TV? Do they not have a TV? They don't have a TV. Okay. Should we put a TV down here? Oh, I can't put that there. I could put this up here. We could turn this into like a music room. Put like a little TV area down here. Because eventually the kids, there's going to be three kids in this house at, at one point. Then we're just going to put like a cheap couch just for the time being. Put like a, like a TV down here, a nice cheap TV. Alright, then we're going to give them... I still have a... I don't know if I have the game console in here or not. Oh, I do! Is that the new game console that I downloaded? Is that the PlayStation 5? Yeah, I think so. Oh no, this is something else. This is like Netflix. It's like a Netflix thing. Alright, where's the game console? I'm pretty sure I put it in the folder. Oh, there it is. Duh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have her play some video games. There we go. That should cheer her up. All right. So Shrek is doing okay. He's drawing another picture. Or no. No, he's already drawn another picture. Now he's playing with blocks. Um, the dogs are doing... Oh, is he home? He is home. Oh, there's an opening intelligence career track as a re recon communicator. There we go. He finally got his promotion. And he kind of needs the money. Okay. All right. All right. First of all, I'm going to have him pee. And then I'm going to have him eat. Oh, wait a second. Oh, there's no more leftovers. Oh, that's right. I forgot that I set the number of servings to two. So because she's pregnant, I think we should set it to maybe four. So that there's always leftovers. Blue the time, there we go. Yeah, I set the default setting to two because it was just the two of them. But when you have a sim that's pregnant, you really have to change that. All right, so go downstairs. Yeah, go downstairs and play video games. I think you've earned the right to play video games. He's actually not that hungry, you guys, so I'm not going to sweat it too much. Why don't you go ahead and have a shower? I'm going to have him make like a healthy a healthy food. So there, he doesn't have to prep it. It's basically frozen dinner. That's all it is. Like I'm not going to have him make a full meal when his, his appetite is like here. Okay. Alright, so that's my new gaming console that I just downloaded. Oh my god, the baby is eating food. Okay. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, I he's gonna have to deal with the baby. He's got he's gonna have to take care of the baby because she's just she's not in a good place right now. Oh my god! Why is his head turned around? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so put Shrek in the chair. Oh. 
You can't be eating dog food, sweetie. Oh, the do these dogs are super stinky. He's going to have to basically bathe the dogs, like all three of them tonight, because they're just too stinky. They're not going to get promoted if they're that stinky. All right, so now we're going to give the baby some spaghetti. We're going to go over here. I'm going to say, um, feed Shrek spaghetti. Let me see what that looks like. Meanwhile, I'm going to have him eat some frozen dinner. All right, so this is what it looks like. Oh, that's nice. That's cute. All right, let's check in with Amaya. Okay, Amaya's in a much better place, but I'm going to wait until she's up right above here. And then I'm going to let her go to bed tonight. Like at a decent time. And he's going to stay up and bathe all the dogs. Oh, no, you don't. Did you just walk away? No, it's just a sec. Hold on. Did you just walk away from that? I'm pretty sure I told you. Oh, I think he... Okay, hold on. Was he there? Oh, is he putting him in the... Oh, Thank he's you. putting him in the... Oh, he was going to put him in the thing. Okay, go ahead. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead and put him to bed. He was going to actually put, put uh, Shrek to bed. My bad. Oh, it's on fire. It's on fire. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to make you eat that. I'm going to force you to eat that burnt food. Just to punish you. <laughs> Did you run your folder through HCDU Plus? Plant some teen and child mod from mid. Oh! Yeah, it's kind of buggy. It doesn't always work. It doesn't work with story progression. There's a few other things it doesn't work with. So, I don't know. You might have to just give it up. Um, worst case scenario is that your plant sim toddlers will turn into children without the skin overlay. And the teens will grow up into teens without the skin overlay. That is the worst case scenario. Which isn't the end of the world. Because that, that's what happens in story progression. Because it doesn't really work with story progression. Oh, we're almost at three hours. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to do another three hour break. Uh, three, three hour break. <laughs> I wish. Three minute break. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs>
Oh, damn, I have like a minute left. Yeah, I'm going to have to put that screenshot in the, uh, in my Discord. <laughs> That's a classic. <laughs> Okay, so people are still watching the um, commercials, but for those of you who have a, a sub, you can just watch him eat his food. <laughs> we still have like 40 seconds left. Yes, you just got a promotion. Yeah, that's right. You're getting indigestion because you burned the fucking food, you jackass. All right, Shrek just went to the bathroom, and he's super tired. So he is going to put Shrek... In the crib. Where's Shrek? Where's Shrek going? No, you're not going to into the pet bed. Yeah, you can't go downstairs anyway. Whoop! Did he just sneeze? Alright, so he's taken care of. Oh, the baby needs to changing. Okay, hold on. Alright, looks like he's on dog duty and baby duty. Okay. Yeah, you're a stinky baby. He might as well bathe. He might as well bathe the baby in the sink while he's doing that. Oh wait, he can't till he changes the diaper. <laughs> right. I'll give him a bath. Bathe Harry. Woof, Tommy. Woo! Okay, put him back to bed. Uh, Harry. And now you're going to work on the dogs. Okay, so let's see. Simon. Simon is definitely stinky. So we're going to bathe him. Wash Simon. Alright, Simon. I need you to go into the bathroom. I need oh, the laundry room, I should say. Go here. So you're, so you're ready to jump in the tub. <laughs> we need to be a fit. Oh, look at all the dog pee outside. Damn. I hope that maid cleans that up. All that dog pee. Oh, no. Don't go anywhere. No. You're going to stay right here. Mm -mm. I know you're hungry. You can eat afterwards. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, no, 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 no. Come over here. We need to be very efficient about this. Get in the tub. Okay, so Crumpelina is next. And then Roscoe. Larkin's the one that got bathed recently. But she's stinky. She's already stinky. She just had a bath. She's already stinky. We need to make sure that the pet bulls are... Okay, the pet bulls... Okay, he is super stinky. Wow. He's leaving like a green trail everywhere he goes. <laughs> oh my god. We are at three hours. We just had a break. Yeah, we just had a break. Everybody should be back from the ad break. I actually got back a minute early, so I just started, just started st streaming again. You did, nobody missed anything. You, you didn't miss anything. Basically, he finished his meal, and then he started bathing the dogs. <laughs> That's it. All right, so now we're going to do Roscoe. Roscoe! Come and get it. Yeah, you're stinky. Everybody's getting a bath. Okay, he actually has to go to the bathroom. Why did you eat some food? There you go. He has to socialize. We need to spend time with the, the animals, like take him for a walk or something. Okay, Shrek is actually pretty good. The baby just got a bath and diaper change. She is sleeping. 
I think. Yeah, she's sleeping. She's actually not dead. I'm going to have her not go to work again. <laughs> she needs she needs to take some vacation days. She's got some well-earned vacation days. I don't know why he only has one and she's got 12, but whatever. Now he's starting to get a little tired. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him do pull an all-nighter and drink some coffee. He's not going to bed tonight because he needs to bathe like one more dog. He also has to finish training Roscoe. He's got just a teeny bit more training to do, and he goes back to work tomorrow, I believe, because he only works like two days a week now, or three days a week, something like that. All right, so now we need to wash Crumpolina. She's stinky too, but she's green. She's green in all the other areas except for that. Uh, he needs to go outside and pee on a bush. So why don't you go pee on that bush? Oh, what's, what is Larkin doing? Oh, Larkin's going to sleep outside. That's fine. Larkin needs another bath, though. All right. So now it's her turn. Oh, it, this, this house is a lot of work. You've got two large dogs, two small dogs. You've got two boys and another baby on the way. Holy moly. Are you going to just pee? Just pee. Oh, you can't pee there. Okay, come over here and pee on this bush. Can you not go through that? Oh, there we go. Okay, now there's like four pee puddles there. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, a dirty plate on the right? Oh, right here. Do you mean this one? Are you talking about this one? Oh. Not in the house. Outside of... Oh, outside of the house. There's a dirty plate outside the house? Really? Oh, it's actually... uh. It's actually snowing. It's the first time it's snowed this winter. Where's the hell? Where's the dirty plate? Am I looking right at it? Oh no, you're not playing outside. Mm -mm. When you moved your camera to the right of the house, I think. No, not on the lot. Not on the lot. Out of the lot. Oh! There's a newspaper. I move this. Sometimes the newspaper boy puts the newspaper on the outside of the lot. I don't know why he does that. Oh! Maybe it was like a falling leaf or something? It's possible, but the nanny put a plate somewhere weird. There's a bunch of pee right here. <laughs> it could have been some bills. Sometimes the bills go over at the corner of the lodge, just outside of the lot. It's really weird. Maybe it was just like a falling leaf or something. Yeah. Maybe maybe we'll see it in the in, in the daylight. I don't know. Um we need to have some coffee. We just did a whole bunch of work. We need to have some coffee. Okay, so we need to finish Roscoe's training. Does she need any training? She has no commands required. She has to learn how to speak. Uh, and he has to learn how to play dead. I think I'm going to actually call somebody for that one. I'm going to call the obedience trainer when he gets back from uh, from work tomorrow. I'm going to call her after he's rested. Because it's best to wait till they're rested before you call the obedience trainer. Because they do get super tired when they're being trained. 
I'll go ahead and have some coffee. Oh God, is he waking up? Nope, it's not waking up. What are you, what are you doing, buddy? Maybe it's just the snow. <laughs> Behind the lot, okay. It could have been the snow, but it also, you know, it's possible that the, the nanny did something. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay! You have a really good eye, my dear. It's outside of the lot, right here. And it's floating, it's it's actually floating in the air. Oh my god, Demertes, you have an excellent eye. My god. But I can't do anything about it. Can I click on it? Force error. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. I think. The, the green cloud is still there, but I think it's gone. Wow, you have a really good eye. <laughs> I did not see that. <laughs> That's amazing. Two days left in winter. Okay. All right. So he's drinking coffee, getting caffeinated. Okay. Does he have new hours at work? Because he just got a promotion. Oh, oh, am I crashing? Am I crashing? He works 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. now, so he can still take his time getting getting his uh, motives up and all that stuff. Um. Okay, so the dogs are pretty much taken care of, but he just, I'm going to have him, like I said, he's not going to bed. He's just going to stay up. I am going to have him work on his motives, though. And I might as well have him, I'm going to have him, um... Set the number of servings to like... I'm going to have it go back to six. Because she needs... We need to have leftovers in the fridge because she's pregnant. So we're going to actually do that now before I forget. And then he's going to make breakfast so that there's a whole bunch of uh, food in the fridge for her. Or maybe we should just have four servings. Okay, so meal size is now set to six. Put this away. Ooh, this is for that. Make some breakfast. What's going on outside? Oh, they're playing. So cute. <laughs> is Shrek still in bed? He is. He's still in bed. Thank God. <laughs> Let's not wake him up. I have a feeling he's going to be a little bit of a shit when he's a teenager. <laughs> it's just a feeling. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm going to have him make egg and soldiers. Which I think is an English breakfast. It so that sounds like an English breakfast to me. You know, pigs in a blanket, egg and soldiers, toad in the hole. <laughs> They're all English sounding. <laughs> Oh my gosh. My mother used to make toad in the hole. Mm, is that black? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I can't believe Namerti saw that that food. Like like in the air like it was like in the air it was so weird i've never i've never seen that before ever okay that's what egg and soldiers look like that looks so fucking good i could use a soft boiled egg right now my mother was obsessed with soft boiled eggs like they used to be very popular back in the 60s and 70s and then they sort of fell out of favor in the 80s because once the 80s hit people didn't have time because you have to like you have to have time and you have to pay attention because you have to let them sit for only two and a half minutes. 
Uh, or no, you have to boil them for two and a half minutes and then take them out. And people just lost the patience that they just, it kind of fell out of favor, but I still love soft boiled eggs. I just love them. But just a lot of young people don't know how to eat them. They don't know how to crack the shell open and Ooh, scoop it out. Idea. And it's kind of makes me sad a little bit. But anyway, that's what it looks like. Yeah. But this must be the soldiers. That's the egg and these are, these are the soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a piece of toast. It looks like toast that have been cut up into four pieces. That's what it looks like to me. So it looks like you're supposed to take the toast, like the piece of toast, and dip it in the egg. That's probably what you have to do, if I had to guess. But I, I absolutely love English. People make fun of English food because it's, like, boring. But I don't think it's boring at all. It's just, it's like plain old-fashioned food like they don't they don't uh they don't do anything fancy they just serve like egg and toast but they call it like they give it a silly name like egg and soldiers to make it interesting and it's just i don't know pigs in a blanket was also another meal that my mother made all the time and toad in the hole and there's also bubble and squeak that's another english dish that's like basically leeks and potatoes that you make in a cast iron pan that was another thing that she used to make quite a bit. I just love the names that they give some of their dishes. <laughs> All right, what's going on with her? Is she is she in a good place right now? She's not going to work tomorrow today. She's not going to work. No fucking way. We need to work on th the dogs. Need to finish their uh, their training. That looks so good. I w I want that right now. Doesn't that look good? Like, wouldn't you, couldn't you see yourself dipping that piece of toast into the egg? And just, oh god, that would be so good. It's very simple and very plain, but it's just really good. I don't like fancy food. <laughs> I, re I really don't. I like plain food. The carpool for Simon will arrive. Okay, where's Simon? There's Simon. Is Simon ready for work? He's ready for work. But he has to learn how to play dad before he gets another promotion, so. But he just got promoted, I think. So. Oh! The toast needs to be cut. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. The toast needs to be cut in strips to be soldiers. Hard-boiled eggs, where it's at. I also love hard-boiled eggs. I love soft-boiled and hard-boiled. I love them both. I love eggs in general. <laughs> What is going on, Shrek? See, you're a <laughs> little fucker. I'm telling you, he's going to be a little hell on wheels when he's older. I mean, how cute is that alien face? It's just nice to have a bit of a change, you know? From the usual defaults. Oh, you're going to play... Oh, no, you're not. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. You're not playing music. You need to uh, work on your needs. And she needs to have some food. She just got up and she's having a shower. So we're going to wait till she's done and then she's going to have some food. Why is the nanny here? Oh, because she's supposed to be at work. Okay, got it, got it. You know what? I'm going to let the nanny stay here and help out with help her out. <laughs> she needs help. All right, you come over here and have some food because you need, like, probably have... Yeah, she probably needs, like, two servings of food. Okay, she's going to throw up again. Poor thing. All right, you come over here, have some food. No, she's not going to work. No, you're not going to work. Fuck off. You've got severe morning sickness. Girl, you're eat you're literally reading yesterday's paper. Oh, wait a second. Who's supposed to be at work? Oh, that's her job. Is that her job? No, that's not her job. She's a science teacher. That is not her carpool. Besides, she drives to work. That she doesn't have carpool anymore. Who's whose job is this? 
Oh, it's Simon's job. That's right, because he's a level three stunt double now. <laughs> Jacob Markison is romancing stunt. What? No, he's supposed to be going out with uh, Madison. He's going steady with Madison. What is going on? He's not supposed to be romancing. Who the hell is Steffi Royce? No, he is he is officially going steady. Oh my god. Fucking story progression. Now he's got like two girlfriends. Maybe he's got two girlfriends. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, he actually has to pee. Why don't you go over here and pee? And you, you need to work on your social. So why don't you have, why don't you sit here and talk to your wife, your pregnant wife. There we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I love how they talk. Aw. Yeah, his social should go up a little bit. <laughs> it's so cute when they hold hands at the table. <laughs> that is that's a cute picture. Aww, his social really went up there. Alright. Oh, she's almost perfectly green. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, she's definitely not working today. Alright, so he needs to work on his fun. So I'm going to have him go downstairs and play video games. And what's going on with the puppies? He's at work. Oh, okay, so he has to actually work on this guy. So what does he need? Again, she, he has to learn how to roll over. So you come here. Before he plays video games, I'm going to have him finish teaching him how to roll over. Ooh. Oh, do I have a raid? You guys, thank you for the raid. Thank you, Lilac Simmer. How are you? Aw, welcome, guys. We're just working on one of the pet stories. So I basically have an Uber hood full of pet story neighborhoods and life story neighborhoods that were made by the hood building group years ago so we have garden heights which is best in show we have mesa flats which is uh midnight masquerade we have arbor falls which is the free play hood from pet stories we also have vincent story which is bitville and we have riley's story which is Four Corners, I believe. So anyway, they created these hoods. They basically recreated them. And uh, I put, I downloaded all the hoods and, and basically created an Uber hood. So they, they basically are identical to the characters in the original stories. And so that's the Uber hood that I'm playing right now. And uh, right now I'm in Garden Heights. This is round three. Um, so yeah, we just started round three today. So this is the first family in round three. This is Amaya Flores. She is um, Alice Witt's best friend. So if you ever played Best in Show, the pet story Best in Show, she is Alice's best friend. And she is married to Henry Benise. So that they basically have a very large house. They've got two large dogs, two small dogs, and an alien child, a baby, and she's pregnant again. So <laughs> we have a full house here. Aw, thank you for the follow, Kira Carlos. I appreciate that. Oh, wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. No, 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 no. You need to you need to finish learning how to play dead. Oh, story progression. Bernard Stanton had their first What? They that is not his first kiss. They're already married. <gasps> Wait a second. Is that his wife or is that his brother's wife? Did he just kiss his brother's wife? I'm pretty sure he's married to Sandy already. I, he are, he's already kissed her. I don't know why it's telling me he's had his first kiss. That's just silly. Uh, Wait a second. I just want to double check. 
that he has to learn to roll over. Right. Okay. Come downstairs into. Oh, he's 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 basically getting his baby. Oh no. You know what? I'm gonna let the nanny uh, get the baby. I want you to come down here and finish training this. Um, oh, finish training this dog down here because he only has a little bit of training left, and I want him to get promoted again. Because the uh, when we called the obedience trainer, she did like 90% of the work. And then Roscoe got too tired and she had to leave. So if you call the obedience trainer in the future, make sure the dog is really well rested. Because um, training them gets them tired very quickly. So make sure they're super well rested before you call her. Because otherwise she'll just leave early before it's actually done. All right. Okay, after you do that, I need you to fill these bowls. All right, so who else needs? Okay, so, okay, so he's at work. He doesn't need any tricks done. Hey, right, what's going on outside? Oh my god, the poor dog could barely... <laughs> the poor dog is in the snow. Aww. Aw, the poor thing could bring and keep his head above the snow. That's too cute. All right, I know that you're trying to pee on that bush, but you're going to have to pee on this bush over here. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this gate because it's kind of counterproductive to have it here at this point. Because the apparently the dogs cannot use the gate. So we're just going to get rid of it. I don't know why they can't use that gate, but he's going to, I'm going to have to have him use this bush over here to pee. Oh, Warren Washington is romancing Cecilia Court. Interesting. Okay. I did not see those two getting together. So this is one of the pre-made university students that came with, from Quaddington University, which is another hood, hood building group um, creation. Aw, it's good that the nanny showed up today, even though she's not going to work, because she kind of needs help with all that stuff. Okay, so she's actually green across the board, so she can actually work on her nature hobby, which she really hasn't had a chance to do in this rotation yet. So I'm going to have her... Browse the web for nature. By the way, if you want to be able to put your laptop at the counter like this, you need to get you need to go to MTS and go to Honeywell. This is a Honeywell mod that allows you to to play the, on your laptop at the counter. There is a little bit of clipping, so as long as you're okay with the clipping, um, yeah, just make sure if you take a picture that you you do this so you can't see the clipping. <laughs> All right, what's going on with Shrek? Shrek is actually pretty good. He has to go. Oh, is he almost done? No, he's still working on it. It looks like he's, he's, the dog has almost learned how to roll over. Aw. Oh, the baby. You know what? I'm going to let the nanny deal with the baby. I think that I'm glad that Amaya took two vacation days. Shrek received 200 from Pollination Technician Car for child support. Oh, look at that. He's almost learned. Oh, did he learn? Congratulations. Roscoe has learned the command rollover. Okay, now I need you to fill this, this food, these food bowls. Good job, Roscoe. So Roscoe is already a level four rescue pet, so hopefully he'll get promoted. He might not get promoted in this rotation, but eventually he will be promoted. So no commands are required for the next prom pro promotion level. Um, she doesn't. So she doesn't need any Larkin. She needs to learn how to speak. Crumpanella needs to learn that, but she, she's an extra level one, so she's still level one. That's not good. We need to get her raised. And he's level three stunt double. So he has to learn how to play dead for his next promotion. So this is the highest dog I've ever had. 
uh, in terms of uh, being at, at this job level. I've never had a dog, I think, be a rescue pet level four before. I think level three is the highest I've ever gotten a pet. So anyway. Yeah, he's, uh, I actually got a pet to level four okay. in their job, which I've never gotten that high before, so. Doing their job. Yeah, so pets can only be either in the service sector, the security sector, or the entertainment sector. Okay. So okay. he's he's a service, he's a he's in the service sector, so he's so rescue he's helping pet. someone who's, like, emotionally troubled. What, what, well, yeah. Seeing eye dog kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Some sort of. This is a, this game is from 2004, so that's not <laughs> emotional support animals weren't a thing back then. Um. Okay. So Henry. Henry is going to work at one. So his carpool shows up at 12. It's 10:30, so an hour and a half. So I might as well have him work on his fun. So I'm going to have him play on the PlayStation 5, which I just downloaded. Um. I wanted Mamaya to stay. Oh. Oh, she looks like she was about to throw up there. Is this is this baby having spoiled milk? Is this baby drinking spoiled milk? No, no. Don't drink spoiled milk. What are you doing? I can't tell if the baby is stinky or if the bottle is stinky. Oh, the baby's stinky. Is the baby stinky? No, it's the bottle. It's the bottle. Well, I hope the baby doesn't... You know, the baby might throw up. So I'm going to give the baby a bath. Bath Shrek. Krishna. Aw, so cute. Oh, there's the maid. The maid had so much work to do yesterday that she had to leave at five. She's like, uh, it's getting late. I have to go. <laughs> uh, that's how much work was had to be done. Even you've got four dogs and two kids. At a work at a working couple. <laughs> oh. So yeah, this is technically the first baby in this Uberhood. Yeah. And also the first alien. So this is what my aliens look like. This is a new default replacement that I'm starting with this Uber hood. All right. I'm gonna have her put him to bed for like a little early afternoon nap. And then I'm gonna have her eat some leftovers. Somebody's carpool is here. Is it Larkin? No. Oh, somebody's coming home. I think some, one of the dogs is coming home from their job. Oh, oh no, it's it's uh, Henry's. It's Henry's carpool. All right, off you go. He just got a promotion. I don't think he needs to work on anything for his next promotion. I think he's pretty much set for the next promotion. I do, because I have the 16 days equals one year mod, it's harder for them to get promotions because they live longer, right? So that's by on purpose. So apparently it's 10 times harder to get a promotion than b vanilla mode. So, which I think is fair considering that they live for a thousand days. <laughs> All right. So both of them, everybody is actually caught up now. Like she was, everybody was like off. Like everybody was slightly off, like really bad. Like their motives were bad, but everybody's caught up. He's caught up. Shrek is caught up. 
and she's almost caught up. I think she should have another bubble bath, I think, because her comfort level is down. So I'm going to actually have her do that. Oh, nope. Oh, her her uh, hygiene is is not low enough, I think, to have a bubble bath. Yeah, I can't get. I, she can't have a bubble bath till it goes down, because I have that new mod. I think it's called Bathroom Sense or some something like that. So if your um if your hygiene level isn't a certain level, you can't actually take a bath, which makes sense. Because Sims used to be obsessed with taking baths, even if they didn't need a bath. And so that's why that person created that mod, I think. And why would the British need to make flavorful food when they could steal it from other cultures? <laughs> Gabby. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, that's too funny. It's true though. It's sad but true. <laughs> All right, Nanny. Nanny's having toast. Nanny's going to throw an error while she's making toast probably. Oh, no, she didn't throw an error, you guys. She actually made toast and didn't throw an error. Okay, that's interesting. So sometimes people throw errors at the toaster and sometimes they don't. So I'm not sure what to make of that. Okay. Since Stegger Sorsha Fosha. Oh, Aw, she's, she's getting to know the nanny. Isn't that now. nice? Okay, you're not gonna eat your Nutella. That's actually Nutella toast that she's eating, which doesn't look like she's gonna eat it, so. Well, sounds like somebody's awake. It sounds like the baby's awake. I think it's time for her to nurse the baby. The baby hasn't been nursed today, so let's go ahead and nurse him. I hope she has a girl next time. Well, it doesn't really matter, but... I'd, I'd be interested to see what the, a girl would look like between the two. Oh, what is your problem? You can get out of the crib yourself. Come on now. There you go. All right, so I'm just going to have him pretend that he's going downstairs. Don't don't look. I'm I'm we're going to pretend that he's going downstairs on his own. So go ahead and draw me a picture. Draw me another picture. This picture's already been done. So we're going to get rid of that. We already have this picture. I I like my my toddlers and children to draw two pictures each. So he he did a repeat picture. So I'm, hopefully the next picture will be something different. You could also get different default replacements for the pictures, by the way. All right. All right. Everybody looks like they're in the green zone, so that's good. Now she's gonna breastfeed the child, the baby. Maybe I should make over La Fiesta Tech. Its lots are interesting. <laughs> Other people have already made over La Fiesta Tech, I'm pretty sure. There's already makeover hoods for that. I'm, I'm going to assume. Because I've seen them for other hoods. So I'm just going to go out there on a limb and assume it's already been done. Okay, so the maid actually finished her work today. <laughs> it took her till 3 p.m. to finish all that work from yesterday. <laughs> That's too funny. Oh my god. The whole world still hates us, and it still shows, like, I hate how we're still being blamed for something the current generation hasn't done. Well, you know, some, some people, some cultures... Feel, I know that it doesn't it doesn't seem fair, but some cultures think that children inherit the sins of the their parents and grandparents, and that you know it's just some cultures are like that. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. 
it's not fair to to the current generation like there are people in europe that still hate germans for what happened 80 years ago do, do you know what i mean like 80 it's been almost 80 years and the germans who live in germany right now had literally nothing to do with it right so and also keep in mind that germany i think germany has the highest teenage suicide rate in europe so I don't know if it has anything to do with that or if there's other there's other issues at play there. But I don't think people should be picking on Germans anymore. I'm sorry, but that happened 80 years ago. <laughs> you need to let that go. <laughs> but that's a perfect example of human beings blaming the children and the grandchildren, the great grandchildren of something that was done a while ago. Um, that's just one, ex that's one really good example, but yeah, there's still people that hold, uh, the British responsible for things that happened 200 years ago, 100 years ago, 50 years ago. It's not fair, but that's just some human beings, their, their brains are just wired that way. You, you know what I mean, Safi? Don't take it too personally though. I think it's like a human thing. It's not, it's not that the British are being picked on specifically. Lots of people blame cultures for things that happened thousands of years ago, okay? I mean, look at the Middle East. The Middle East has been, been fighting with each other for thousands of years for all sorts of reasons. I mean, look at Persia. Nobody likes Persia, which is now uh, Iran. Persia, uh, Iran used to be called Persia, and uh, nobody liked Persians. Everybody hated the Persians. And so they, the Persians and everybody else have been fighting each other for thousands and thousands of years. So, you know, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> People still blame the Persians for, for things that happened like 4,000 years ago in ancient Greece. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Does it make sense? No. <laughs> Well, I agree with you. They do need to get over themselves, but that's just some some human some human brains are wired that way. So it's boring and pathetic. I agree, but like get everything back, apologize, and help fund loads. Yes, that's true. I'm defensive as hell. I'm loyal to my country, and I'm tired. Of yeah, I don't blame you for feeling that way. Uh, we're sort of sensing that in Canada right now, because Canadians treated Indigenous people very badly uh, for a very long time. And Indigenous people have every right to be angry, but I personally had nothing to do with it. I never did anything to an Indigenous person. Now, that doesn't mean that they shouldn't still be angry, because it's the racism in Canada towards in, in Indigenous people is institutionalized, like it's ingrained in our institutions, and it needs to change, because Indigenous people are tr still treated like shit. So we still have a lot of work to do, but the government is trying to make amends. What I don't like is when somebody says white people and they include me in it, they're like, white people did this, white people did that. I'm like, what are you looking at me for? I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry that indigenous people were treated badly in Canada. I really am. And I want indigenous people to, to be treated better. And I want the government to work on the racism um, and all that stuff and, and keep keep trying to make amends for some of the wrongs they've done, but at the same time, don't group me in with all those people, because I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, they should do more to help them. I understand both sides. I See, I'm a Libra, and Libras are like the scales of justice, and as a Libra, I can see both sides. I can weigh both sides, and I can play devil's advocate, and I could put myself in the shoes of the other side. So even if I disagree with them, I can still understand where they're coming from. And a lot of people can't do that. They can't put themselves in another person's shoes and understand why they feel the way they do. And it's really important that you learn to do that and because it will help you grow as a person. And it will help you understand why people think the way that they do. Uh, that doesn't mean you have to like agree with them, but it will at least help you understand where they're coming from. 
Uh, but at the same time, I'm just kind of sick and tired of, you know, of hearing people say, white people this, white people that. I just like, <laughs> I was born in 1968. I had nothing to do with it. I grew up in Toronto. <laughs> I lived in a middle class neighborhood. I spent most of my life in a wheelchair. So I have my own problems that I have to deal with. And I'm sorry that those things happen to you and that indigenous people still have a lot of uh, trauma, generational trauma that they have to deal with. And I hope the government helps them. And I hope the government continues to help them and, and help them, um, you know, get, get the, get the rights that they deserve and get some of their land back. Cause some of their land still hasn't been returned to them. So I hope that they still work on that. Um, but, Leave me out of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Leave me out of it. <laughs> my ancestors had nothing to do with it either, by the way. My mother's ancestors were poor Irish farmers. So they came over here. They had nothing to do with any of that shit. <laughs> Maybe my dad's side of the family might have been guilty of that because they, they were uh, English and they came over. They moved to the States in 1630. Like, they came from England in 1630 from, um, I forget what county they came from in England. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, they came over in 1630 in Massachusetts and then eventually moved to Canada in, like, the early 1900s. But my my dad's family might have had something to do with some of the bad things. But my mom's family, they were just poor Irish farmers, so they're innocent. <laughs> they had their own problems to deal with. All right. I, en enough talk about reality. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have her eat that. Is she actually leaving? I think that I think the nanny is finally leaving, which is fine. But she was very helpful today. She actually helped clean up the house a little bit, take care of the kids. So Amaya was able to get caught up with all her motives. She's actually doing really well right now, guys. So I'm glad she took two vacation days. She told, oh my God, is he freezing? Is he freezing? <gasps> He's freezing. Look, his, his skin color has changed, you guys. You see how his skin color has changed? Oh my God. Okay, so you guys, I forgot to tell you that, well, I mentioned this before, but I have that similar 90 temperature mod. And because I'm using the similar 90 temperature mod, I have to have an air con like a um, one of these units in all the rooms. It acts as both an air conditioner in the summer and a heater in the winter. So we have to put this in every single room. Every single room. Any, any room that, that you spend a lot of time in has to have an air conditioning unit. Or, or it's just, it's not, it's like a multi, multi-purpose unit. It's, it's uh, both heating and electric, um, heating and cooling. All right, so I don't know where we're going to put this one. Can't put it there. Right, we're just going to put it here. Technically speaking, it should be on an outside wall. If you really want to be strict about it. Okay, so we put the in that one. So we should probably put one in the living room as well and the bedroom. Okay, we're going to put it probably here. Anyway, because if you don't get these units and you're using the similar 90 mod, um your your sims are going to freeze to death or they're going to get overheated and pass out. So it does add a little bit of realism to the game and it, it makes it more challenging. So I highly recommend that you download the mod, but be prepared to actually put air, those, um, those units in all the rooms that people spend time in. You don't have to put them in the bathrooms or the kitchen, but you do have to put them in all the bedrooms and the living rooms and things, you know, any area where they sit around. But his skin color has changed because he's super cold right now. Her, her temperature's fine. Oh, the baby is really cold. You guys, Shrek is really cold. Okay, we need to put, an, we need to put one of these units down here. 
Hopefully. So once you put the unit in the room, it takes one sim hour for the sim to actually get their temperature to go back to normal. So if we just wait a little bit, um, you see this, how it's super duper cold. This should, oh, oh, see that? It already went up one level. He's already, he's already on his way to getting warmed up a little bit. So let's just, let's wait and see how long it takes him to get like a, a regular happy face and he has a normal body temperature. He's still cold. Any, any second now, guys. So as you know, if they're t if they get too cold, the social worker will take them away. So you have to be really careful. It's the same thing in the summertime. If they get too hot, the social worker will take them away. So definitely check out the similar 90 mod because it does create more drama in the game. And it also makes you install those units in all the rooms. And keep an eye on the children's temperatures. Okay, he's still technically cold. Oh, there we go. Right there. He's normal again. Alright, so that means these bedrooms are also going to need those units. So let's go ahead and put them in, in these. Uh, the bed. Nobody's living in these bedrooms right now, but eventually they will be. So let's go ahead and install the units in here. And again, you don't need them in the bathrooms or the laundry room or the hallways. Just places where they hang out for extended periods of time. But he is, like, Henry is really cold. He's obviously cold because he's at work, I guess. I don't know. Here's Brock Thornton. Walking his cat. <laughs> and Amaya is just playing with the dollhouse by herself. Because I actually have... A, a special dollhouse that allows adults to just play by themselves. I think it's by Rebecca. I think that's who did it. Okay. So I'm going to have her eat again because she's just constantly hungry because she's pregnant. Let's see if there's any leftovers. There is leftovers. Go ahead and have the last of the egg and soldiers. I think there's just enough to, there to uh, feed your husband when he gets home. And hopefully he can get warmed up. So the bait, so Shrek is fine. Shrek has to pee. Go ahead and teleport up here. Use that. Roscoe has the day off. Story progression. Jimmy Briggs is aging up. Okay, so Jimmy was a little baby. Now he's a toddler, so that's good. We have a whole bunch of toddlers, you guys. So babies last 16 days, which is a year. Toddlers last 80 days, which is five years. So one plus five is six. And then they age up into children. Children last 96 days, which is six years. So six plus six is 12. And then teenagers last six days. So you've got that. That's 18. 12 plus six is 18. So that's how long they live. And then once you become an adult, you live six, a little over 600 days. And then uh, elders can last anywhere from 80 days, which is five years, to 400 days, which is like 40 years. Cause, so you can live anywhere from the age of 65 to 100 in this game, depending on how well you age up and all that stuff. Did somebody just play a card? Get packs to the top support. Oh, wait a second. Mother Load played Colonel Savant. Play this card. Mother. Oh, Mother Load! Oh my god! Oh, these guys, they just took a loan out. They just took a $25,000 loan off, so now they can pay off the loan. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. They totally needed this money. Thank you, thank you, Zappy. This is the perfect family to do this with, too. So we're going to go to the loan jar and pay off the loan. Okay, so they paid off the loan, and now they have 39689 left. They, they had so little money, because I wanted them to, to build some bedrooms downstairs in their basement. 
Um, so they needed to take a huge $25,000 loan out. So thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to have her turn on these fans. Turn on all fans. There we go. That will also help uh, the temperature, like regulate the temperature in the house. Okay. Uh, go ahead and fix that. Boop. Oh, there goes Shrek. All right, so I'm going to, again, we're going to have Shrek. Um, oh, Shrek has to eat, you guys. Okay, you're going to have to put him in the high chair and give him something to eat. This time we're going to give him mac and cheese. So you definitely want to check out Jackie93 and download the toddler foods to give them a little bit of variety. She also has that default replacement for the, the actual mush. Okay, we're going to give him mac and cheese. I think he just, I think he just came home. Henry just came home. All right, that's what it looks like. Okay, why didn't she come over here and play some games? Oh, who's online right now? Chat with... Anthony Silch? Is she, is she friends with Anthony? Hold on. Let's see if she's friends with Anthony. She can still chat with him. I don't... Why don't you chat with uh, Anthony Zilch? I think she does know him, though. Okay, he needs to be... He needs to get warmed up. <laughs> He's so freaking cold right now. Uh, why don't you have some leftovers? You see how his skin is like really has a bluish tint to it? You just watch his skin color will go back to normal once he's warmed up. But he's like super cold right now. But yeah, he should, uh, he should, uh, it won't take long for him to warm up. <laughs> oh, oh, do you see this? <laughs> At least she's got her arm up like that. It was all twisted. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, what's going on with Shrek? Shrek's actually... Oh, Shrek is still in the high chair. Eating his food. Okay. I think he's gonna be going to bed soon. Yeah, he's still really blue. Like a purplish blue color. Okay, so... He's actually warm again, but his skin color is still purplish blue. It's, oh, there we go. Did you see that? Did you see it? It, cha it changed back, like, just as I said that. <laughs> That's so awesome. I love this game. They put so much detail into this fucking game. It's insane. And then with all the other Sim franchises, I, don't, I just feel like they didn't put as much love. They put so much heart and soul into this game. Like, they went above and beyond what is necessary to make a simulation game. And it's it's also very quirky and silly and wonderfully silly. And you know what I'm saying? It's just that you don't have that with the other Sim franchises. There's Because Will Wright left, he had, they had that big falling out with Will Wright and he left. And he basically, I think he was the heart and soul of this franchise. And when he left, that was it. Like, it just became... I don't know. The franchise just became stale and I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like when he left, it was kind of, it changed. The dynamic, the, the dy dynamic at the software company kind of changed a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because from what I've read, Will Wright was very eccentric. Um, he was very eccentric and he's prob he's probably autistic. Uh, based on all the things that people have said about him. Um, and he, he's a little quirky, he's a little strange, uh, so he probably is, uh, you know, he's probably in the autism spectrum, if I had to guess. So anyway, he definitely made this Sims 2 very special. He also made Sims 1 special. He also made the SimCity franchise, like, 
SimCity 3000, SimCity 4000. He made those very... Th those games are also funny and quirky. and He worked on those as well. So, I don't know. Redeemed Hydrate. Oh, save game! Thank you. Yes, and I also need to sip some tea. So, I'm going to have some tea. Oh, that's so good. Okay, how long have I been on? Oh, I've been on three hours and 58 minutes, you guys. So technically speaking, uh, I'm not supposed to stop. The rotation doesn't stop till Saturday morning at 6 a.m. But I've been on for four hours, so we're just going to cut cut out early. Because <laughs> I, can't, I can't go over four hours, you know. I'm still in a little bit of pain. Uh, from this, this whole, these health issues I've been having. So I still have to take it easy. So anyway, I think I'm going to just end it right here. As if, if somebody is on streaming right now, I will be more than happy to, um, to rate them. So if anybody is on, is anybody on right now? Hold on. Let me just check. We got, oh, Tea Addict is on. Um, who else is on? Oh, Acid Lore is on. They're playing Sims 2. Okay, so I think Acid Lore is a modder. He actually mods. So some of you might have seen some of Acid Lore's content on Tumblr. So I don't know. We could either do Tea Addict or Acid Lore. We can, we can raid one of those guys. Do you know why my custom houses are missing from my game? I have no idea. That is kind of a strange question. I don't know. Did you accidentally delete them? When when you say they're missing from your game, do you mean that they're missing from your your bin, your house bin? Tea addict. Do you want me to do tea addict? Custom houses are in a separate folder. Do you mean that they're that they are missing from your like house bin or they're missing from your actual like you placed them on a lot and they're gone? You probably didn't. Oh, that's actually a good point, Nemertes. That's probably what happened. Oh, they're missing from your bin. Okay. Um Did you switch to a different neighborhood? Are you on a different neighborhood? Because it's, I don't know. Maybe you accidentally deleted them when you placed them down. That's that's possible. I've actually done that myself. I've actually accidentally done that. <laughs> and I had to re-download them. <laughs> that's a pain in the ass. Anyway, let's go ahead and set up a tea addict raid. If you're not following the if you're not following her, you really have to follow her. <laughs> All right. Anyway, on Monday we're going to do uh, I forget who's next. I think it's Melissa Carter and Brock Thornton. Anyway, I will see you guys on Monday. Thanks for hanging out. I will finish up this family off stream. I don't think you guys are going to miss anything. Anyway, let's go ahead and raid T Addict. Um, let me get her up and running. All right. All right, guys.